Hey everyone and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. If I remember correctly where we left off, I think I was going back to get all of the metal flowers complete and we'd made some progress, but I think we still had like a handful left. So yeah, we had done the one down here in Vegas. Actually, I think there was two down here. I guess they don't show anymore because I did them, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did two down here, and then we got one there. Interesting. Is that the next one we're going to do? I think it is. I don't remember this one at all. Not at all. But anyways, let's head over. Alright, where was this one? I think it was just some random tower. How am I doing on berries? Looks like I'm pretty good. Holy crap, I have 1143 berries in my stash? I did not realize that. It's kind of gross. What is this? <laughs> I've never seen the wind screw up this badly. Oh, it's for that. Real bad. Anyways. What do we have here? Oh, wow. Wow, these things are... <laughs> the caches in this game are not consistent. It's like, eh, moderate cache. Who cares? It's got freaking four hearts in it apex hearts jeez uh oh right i forgot we can do this relic ruin now oh we're definitely doing that totally forgot about this and did i ever even turn into meter i don't think i did i think i was doing this first and then i was gonna turn into meter so yeah, we got that to do as well. World, world ruin built into the cliff. I think that's the one that Tanakh told me about. Might be worth poking around inside. I'm doing well, Levi, except for I'm exhausted. I Some just kind of tunnel. I should take a look around. I just got done with a run. I usually run a little bit earlier, but I wanted to get a run in today and uh, I'm regretting it because I'm exhausted. But I will persevere. Okay, so now I've got a crate. And what do I use that crate for? Let's see. Maybe up here? No, that won't work. I could drag it this way. What does that do for me? Maybe I can get up there? Yeah, I'm thinking... I'm thinking that. You said hi to me, Cody. I said hi back to you. How's it going? My nickname for one of my friends that passed away was Shiny. Ah, oh, well. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I'm sorry to hear about your friend. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully you're doing okay. jump to the pipe. Oh, hey. hey, like, what are you doing? No. What the heck? Oh, I wonder if I could wall jump? Oh, maybe. You know, I never used that wall jump. I almost forgot it exists. I wonder if I could wall jump off of here. Let's see. How do you do it again? Aha! Like that. But I don't know if I can do it this far from a wall. And also if Aloy refuses to jump. Oh, it worked! I don't know if that was what I was supposed to do, but it worked. 
totally forgot about that wall jump till now. I'm surprised this thing works after all this time. Uh oh, doors closing. Oh. Not sure if it's smart to just run in here, but uh, I'm doing it. All right, so there's another block, which presumably has purpose. This could be useful. If I could like block it. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, too slow. Oh, it only goes that far. All right, well I guess it's for here then. Well, the door is closed. So now I'm locked in. Let's hope there's a way out. All right, well we Door's need a locked. key. Looks like it needs a key module. Oh, you can climb up there. <laughs> Nifty. I wonder what's up there. Let's pull these down first. What's up, Tranny? Good to see you. Also, there's a question I have. I saw that there was no final EP for Cyberpunk 2077. Did you decide to quit the game? Uh, sort of. So I don't quit any game. I will finish every game on this channel, but I did quit it as a walkthrough. So at some point in the future, I will finish Cyberpunk as a... I will restart Cyberpunk and finish it as a Let's Play. And that sucked. Well... I can't expect everything to hold up in this place, I guess. Uh, how am I gonna get up there now? This way. So graceful. Alright, so we got this key module. Repository maintenance key. Oh, a key module. I'll find a use for you. So before I came here last, I was playing Kingdom Hearts 3 with the pro codes, and I'm at the final Remind Xehanort fight. Remind was the one with all the the singular bosses in the uh, like training simulation thing, right? It's been so long. If so, congrats, because those fights are no joke with all the pro codes on. I don't think it'll connect. Why? Why not? There we go. That um well, Maybe it can still move. What do I need this for? Uh what what for? Oh, maybe to stop the door from dropping. Okay, now what to do with you? Uh Okay, it doesn't move. All right. Oh, this is in the way. I wonder if this is broken. Oh no, did my thing like bug out? It's like stuck. There it goes. Um, the, the final boss for that game with the pro codes is absurd. Um, what the heck was his name again? The like Riku looking dude. Well, whatever he was, he was absurd. I forget his name already. All right, I never checked that. Yazora, yes. Yazora was was nuts. Okay, good to know because Cyberpunk. Did get a lot of patches, and now the game is actually pretty good. Yeah, I've I've seen a lot of good notes on the patches. Uh, I probably won't be playing it anytime soon, but definitely in the future okay, I will be back. And I'm looking forward to it. There. You're not looking forward to that with the pro code. Yeah, he's. He's ridiculous. It took me forever. 
The problem with the pro codes is it like takes away all of the fun aspects of the game and then you have to like counter melee swings. I really wasn't a fan of the pro codes. It definitely made the game hard and challenging, but not in a good way in my opinion. This place is crazy, it's sending me all over. Alright, fire gleam. Oh, I'm back here. Huh. Looks like I'm back on the other side of the big door. Well, I assume I just roll the minecart in here and then use that to get to the module. That seems like the obvious thing. Oh, I never even realized I could climb this side of it too, but not very high. Alright, well, I think that's the deal. Now's my chance. Or maybe... Maybe I just stop it? Let's see, if I stop it, then I can take that up. Oh, whoops. Well, so much for that. I wonder... Hmm. Oh, well, regardless, I can take the minecart over here and get that, that green shine. Fragment, ancient supply box. I think all we have left is. Oh, wait, what did we miss over there? Huh. Alright, I missed something in that last room. We'll have to go back for that. What? Oh, that's the flower. Never mind. If I can do anything more with this crate, can I drag it over here? Alright, my only idea is to stop the door with it. And then maybe if I stop the door, I can climb high enough to catch that beam. Maybe. Nah, I still don't think that's gonna work. But it's an idea. side all right, right here should do the trick all right so that will get me that high and you know, maybe I think it's possible it could work okay that should keep the door open let's see will I be able to jump that far uh, I don't know let's find out Good use of this. Yeah. Oh, grab it, Aloy. All right, maybe it'll work. Nope. Okay. Go. Why isn't she grabbing it? That's not it. Maybe there's something on the other side. Oh, I bet you on the other side I could get up the Yeah. All right, all right. We got it. Go in the other side. I see. Do I recall Beavis and Butthead? 
<laughs> yeah, it was from my childhood. Alright, where's that thing I missed? Up there? That's random. Alright, we'll have to go check that out after. Stanford days? Huh? Uh, okay, I'm confused. Anyways. Oh, machine catalog. We got an apex behemoth at some point, apparently. Stanford days. Text law data corruption is partial. Data corrupted. And that's when we ran into Kyle. Hadn't seen the guy in what? 12 years? And then he insists we hit the strip together. Just like the good old Stanford days. What a jerk. I mean, the top shelf booze, VIP seating, and 24K gold leaf oyster shooters, real oysters, were interstellar. But everything else? Ugh. There's a reason we fell out of touch with that shit bag. Golden toucans out. Amir. I still don't know what this whole golden toucans thing is. Oh wow, I have most of the black bosses at this point. I have most of the black bosses, apparently. And tutorials? Is there something new in here? There is. Special gear, the vine cutter. We know how that works. Better make a trip to see Stemmer. Cool. Now we just gotta get up there. How does one do that? Maybe over here? Oh, easy. I might want to take a look around. See if I, can find I remembered everyone. I remembered you can pull them down. All right. I think this ruin's cleared out. It's a an historic day. I remembered. Many said it was impossible for me to remember, but I did it. It only took me 80 hours of gameplay. Alrighty, now where are we going? Over here? Over there. Up the mountain. Well, okay then. What have I remembered? That I can grapple chests down. It's a historic day. Setsuna. What's going on? Good to see you. You can grapple chest down? You didn't know this either? I'm not alone! Oh, I remember this now. I saw this really early on in the game. Just a random cave that's blocked. Yeah, if a chest has that uh, blue grating stuff on it, you can pull it down. There's a lot of chests up in high spots that you can't get otherwise. <laughs> See? I'm not the only one. Oh, God! I, oh, I forgot that there was a dude in there. Alright. We got this. Plasma. Do we want to bother with that? I guess we could. I've not been a big fan of the plasma, but... I mean, why not? Gun out of here. Oh, that's a terrible shot. What was I doing with that? Alright, cut the gun off. Let's see if I can actually grab it and use it. I usually can't. Uh oh. Yeah, see, they just don't give you a chance. They're too aggressive. Let's see. I'm gonna try to hit that plasma. Oh, God. Oh, I thought that hit me. And no shot. Oh, hi! Glad you could join. Oh, rude. Here, I'm gonna toughen. Oh, 
Oh! Alright, I need something good. Take some of this. Oh, he got me. I really hate that you can't melee these dudes. You know, considering that I'm melee spec. Got him. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, wow, he's... Oh, no, I did. I did. Kaboom! Yeah! Didn't like that, did you? Well, I actually did a lot. Wait, what the heck? This is acting different than before. Why has he got, like, streams of plasma coming up? Alright, apparently I maxed out the plasma hit, so we just wait. And... Oh! Oh, that didn't do anything! Oh my god, plasma is so useless. I was so excited. I thought, actually, I was gonna do some damage with plasma and nothing. Oh, I jumped right in that. Somehow I didn't get hit though. I am so disappointed with Plasma, it's so bad. Oh, can I interrupt Tuffin? Dude, Tuffin lasts forever now. Holy crap. When did I beef this up so, so much? It lasts for like three minutes. <laughs> How do I turn it off? I don't want it anymore. Well, whatever. Alright, what was so special that he was guarding in here? It looks like a cluster. No, a chunk. And... bunch of crap. I really don't like that you can't turn off Toughened. It seems like I should be able to save the stuff. Oh, Alright, I forgot I got the cannon and never used it. Oh well. Alright, anyways. We got that one. And what else? You know, we never did go back north and get revenge on that freaking Thunderjaw that came down and murdered me. But he might still be too tough. Ah, oh, we got one here. Oh, right, that freaking Slither Fang. I forgot about him. All right, let's go beat up the Slither Fang again and we'll do that Metal Flower. Does a cleanse work for toughened? I doubt it. It's a beneficial thing. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get buddy. You're my friend. You and me will fight the Slither Fang. Let's go. No, don't fight. Don't fight him. Ugh. All right, fine. Fine, 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 fine. fine. Alright, we good? You happy? We killed him. I did make you aggressive, I guess I can't complain. You and me sl Oh! Wait, people told me he'd respawn, he's gone. Slitherfang is gone. Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> Hi Slitherfang, how's it going? Here, have some uh right there! Oh, they get it? I don't think I did. Oh, get poisoned. That's right, get freaking poisoned. You don't scare me anymore, Slither Fang. You used to be scary, but not anymore. Get that water crap out of here. Dude, he knocked down my dude! He knocked down my friend! What the heck? He just was attacking you, it's no big deal. Get that out of here. Oh, forgot about that crap. Oh, he knocked him down, nice job! Ah, oh, crap, I'm not there though. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold on. Let's 
switch to lightning. Oh, I missed. Oh, come on. Dang it. That's not gonna work. Oh, what the heck? Is that the behemoth? Maybe I did hit lightning and didn't realize it. Ow, who's hitting me now? Ow, what, what the? Fine, here. No, what, what? Would you hit him already? <laughs> what are you doing, Aloy? Oh, God. Oh, he killed me. What? No way. I was full freaking health. Oh, that was broken. Wow, that was broken. Okay, I have no idea what happened there. That clearly double hit me. <laughs> nice. Dude, look at the damage he's doing. Oh my god. Boom, he's done. Oh, I'm not quite. Boom! How do you do multiple strikes when it's down? Uh, some, some knockdowns are longer than others and the um, electrified states are particularly long. So that's all that it was. All right, well, since this slither fang is cheating, I will use a health potion. If I have one, that's not too crazy. I'll use this one. All right, where is he? Hi, cheater. Take some of this. Wait, he land that? Oh, not me. Oh, get wrecked. You know what I might do? Let's switch to the warrior bow. Let's get aggressive. Yeah, how you like that? You like that? You gonna spin on me? Gonna charge me. Not gonna work. Not gonna work. Oh boy. Oh, 130 on that one. That was nice. Alright, you know what? I'm going tough and just because I don't trust this cheater. Oh, it went right under him. Oh, that was dirty. That was dirty. Wait, I thought I put toughened on. I did. Oh, all right. Coil. Where is it at? Where is it at? Right there. Oh, you put your tail in the way, you cheater. Ow! Oh, crap. You knocked me down. Got him. Kaboom! I hate that like anti melee crap he does constantly. Boom. Oh, my dude's enraged. Get up, Behemoth, kick his butt. Oh, 
Oh no, you don't. I know what you're up to. Oh, it still hit me. Man, this thing will not blow up. Come on, you can do it. What are you up to? I don't know. I don't trust you. Get out of here. Oh god. Blow up that sack, but it just is not doing it. Here, how about this? Boom! Got it! Purge water, baby! How you like that purge water? You ain't doing any elemental crap to me. Which means I should be able to get close and shock your stupid face. Like so. Oh, he ducked. Hey, <laughs> no electricity on that. Right, you cheater. Oh, God. Oh, terrible shot there. Kind of like them doing elemental attacks now. <laughs> there we go. I got him shocked. So he won't be able to do the... Uh, actually, the purge water wore off. So he will be able to... Do his electricity craft to thin me off. Can I land this? Got it. Yeah. Perfect. Watch that shock. Whoa, what's he doing? Oh my god, he's losing his mind. If I could hit that resonator. Oh no! Get me out of here! Haha, <laughs> you cheater. I know your tricks. Hit that resonator blast. Oh, it's underground. Oh, it went away. I lost it. Can't see. I'm in a bush. I am stuck in a bush. You know what? You know what you're gonna get? You're gonna get brace shot. Crap. Where is he? Eat this! Boom! Oh, knocked him down. It's over. You killed my friend. That behemoth was special to me. That behemoth corpse, corpse end up. Oh. Oh well. Stock up on some berries since they're nearby. Make sure there's nothing else nearby. I still would like to know where my behemoth died. Maybe that's him. Oh, did he land on him? Yep, he. T oh, not behemoth. I bristle back, not behemoth. He landed on him. Alright, that's done. What else? We got one over here. Let's go to that one. That one's super close to a campfire. Do not remember this one. What's that light? Oh, is that the flower? It is the flower. I don't remember this area at all. Time to draw back. Okay. What's that? Whoa. 
Wait, is this... I actually might remember this. It might be near that, like, awful... Um... Bandit camp I took down. That were, like, super high level. At the time. I can't open this. There we go. I need to get a better mount? I just use them in battle. I generally don't like riding around on a mount. Unless it's through an area I've already been. So I don't really get a whole lot of use out of the mounts. Alright, down there we got one. We don't have that? Weird. Alright, well. Lowlands Path. I think that's where I... Went with what's her face tracking her nephew, grandson. Kid like defected, but we brought him back. We apparently got a black box up there. That's interesting. And what the heck, unknown? I've been there. I thought, or maybe not. And I've totally been there. I guess I didn't unlock it. That's weird. That's the place I'm thinking. I've definitely been there. All right, anyways, I got distracted. Where was I looking again? <laughs> I think I was going down here. Yeah, okay. Let's go here. Oh, you're out of here already, Ace? Ah, have a good night. Thanks for champion. coming. Well, have I already completed all the salvage contracts? I have not. Hey, it's a rumor guy. Time to get distracted. There's been reports of rebel outposts all over the jungle. A few set up camp just west of here. A whole squad's hiding out in the south. They've even managed to take over an area southwest of here, where the jungle narrows. Those traitors don't know when to give up. And our squads are at their limit. We could really use the help of a proven champion. I'll see what I can do. Tread carefully, champion. The lowlands are a dangerous oh. place. Oh. You didn't even give me a quest? I guess I already knew about it. Alright, well, you're of no use to me. So, what do you think of the Dreadwing? It was cool. Uh, I, not very memorable. I took him down pretty easy. That's kind of the thing. The, the one thing I do remember is he had a, uh, a coil. And if you have a coil, I'm just going to dominate you in most cases. It's the enemies that don't have a coil, which usually end up being obnoxious because I don't have any, like, solid way to incapacitate them and do a bunch of damage. But yeah, he had a coil, so game over for him. Oh, purple. Oh, and an orange one. Not bad, not bad. Alright. Just look around for some goodies. Doesn't look like we have any. Nope. Alrighty. That might be it. That might be all the metal flowers we know about. Let's see, nothing down here. There's an unknown fire claw site. I thought that I fought a fire claw there. Maybe not. I think that is it for metal flowers currently. Unless you guys see one that I'm not seeing. But I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm going to say yes. All right. In that case, we return to base. Why is this marked? Go away. Oh, it's marked because it's active. So, seeds of the past, return to the base. Fantastic. Or the coils are covered in armor. Yeah, that's not a big deal, though. I can blast it off. Um, that's the 
The turtles are freaking annoying, but not because of their coils being armored. Like, they're just obnoxious enemies. Did I meet the Spinosaurus looking machine yet? I don't know what a Spinosaurus is, but I fought the uh, Tide Ripper if that's what you mean, but I kind of doubt it. Alright, well, it looks like people want to talk to me again. What's up with you, Aaron? Looks like you got what you wanted. Yeah. It's almost time to go after Hephaestus. Finally. We get to rock and roll. You know, at least that's that's how the old one said it, I, I think. Companions. Anything happen I should know about? Uh, Zoe asked us to help her bring more plants in here. Not for eating, apparently. Yeah, if you ask me, the place is fine as it is. You know, metal might be plain, but it's sturdy. Nothing wrong with that. Who needs a bunch of vegetation? You're training. Bet you're used to that focus by now. Well, I can hit machines in their weak points. <laughs> I guess that's something. I wish all the other data was as easy to deal with. Now, to be honest, it's hard to understand half of what's on there. And then the other half reminds me... Now, this isn't a fight you can win by just waving a hammer, which is kind of what I do. But hey, that just means I gotta study harder. Now, make myself useful. Just give it time. Farewell. I should get going. I say hi to Gaia for me. Aloy. Is that what I think it is? Just need to merge it with Gaia, and she'll have enough power to handle Hephaestus. Good news. So, what can I do for you? Your training. I hope Zoe's not upset I'm distracting you from your training. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. What do you mean? What happened? Well, before Zoe found a way to fix the land gods, I suggested that when Gaia was fully restored, she could just make new ones. Well, once we get Hephaestus, that's definitely a possibility. That's what I said. But I guess there was something about my tone she didn't like. She got pretty raw. Said I didn't understand the way her tribe feels about those machines. Which is true, of course. And the last thing I'd ever want to do is dismiss their traditions. But I was trying to look at things differently. More like you, you know? To see a machine is just a machine yeah I guess I led you into trouble there didn't I not your fault don't worry got him in the doghouse your training did you talk to Zoe after your fight I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence then she seemed to move on sort of how do people do this how do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face what if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. You know that? What makes you think I know anything about any of this? You're on your own. Abandoning me again, huh? Well, if she kills me next time, it's on you. Better Farewell. get this to Gaia. You did it, Aloy. Let's hold off on the ale till it's over and done with. I'll let Aaron know. Yeah, he's dismissing Hephaestus way too easily. Hephaestus is supposed to be like the worst one. I like how they're fighting, but they're still like two feet from each other. Aloy, you've returned. And you come bearing gifts. Does this mean we'll soon be able to uproot the Zeniths from our lands? That's what I'm hoping. Good. Companions. You ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. No such luck. <laughs> he likes himself some death metal. You're training. It looked like you were working on something over there. 
With Gaia now growing in strength, I've been trying to find a way to heal the Land Gods, even if some people think I should give up on them. Already said I was sorry. Your friend thought it'd be a good idea to replace the Land Gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It wasn't. The Land Gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Varl understands that too. He does now. I had to get pretty mad at him at first, though. You know I can hear you guys, right? You were training. Varl looks pretty focused. He's been obsessing over the data revealed to us by Poseidon. Just the other day, we read about mountains hiding deep underwater that spew fire. If I understand correctly, Gaia said the flames they release come from the very center of the Earth. Like a heart, beating with the life of the world. As always, the cycle can be found in even the most unlikely of places. Of course, Varl's mostly interested in watching explosions happen underwater. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Varl. Farewell. I should get going. If you need me, you know where to find me. I still would have liked to have brought that, um, Quinn. I think they're called the Quinn researcher. Oh, Varl wants to talk again. What's up with you, Varl? Need to talk about something else? Yes, actually. Your training. Looks like things between you and Zoe are better now. I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move on. Sort of. How do people do this? How do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face? What if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. You know that? What makes you think I know anything about any of this? You're on your own. Abandoning me again, huh? Well, if she kills me next time, it's on you. Okay. Repeated most of that. I Fair should well. go hand this over to Gaia. By all means. Okay. Look around. Any fun, new, exciting things to discover? Sometimes there's stuff in my room. Oh, how am I doing on the uh, override front? I forgot what I needed. Let's see. I need a Bellowback primary nerve, which seems like it'd be easy, and then I can override Bellowbacks. I need a Rollerback Hammer Tail and a Rollerback Primary Nerve. I don't fight them too often. Okay. It's not too bad. I'm telling you, the old ones put blades on their feet and danced on ice. That doesn't sound safe. It does sound fun, though. Oh, that's the exit. Alright, here's my room. Anything new? Was this here before? I don't remember that. Anyways, let's grab some stuff in my stash. What's up, Catalo? You busy? One must never be idle when at war. But there is always time to speak to one's commander. Oh, that's... that's not really how I see myself. It is how we see you. Companions. What have you been up to? Varl has asked to learn the differences between my people's clans, so I've been teaching him Tanakh history. It is heavy with blood and death but also with honorable deeds and vanquished tyrants. Maybe you'd like to hear about it as well, when our mission is done. I'd be honored. Your training. 
Anything interesting happen while I was away? I found an acceptable place to practice with my blade. Oh, and where is that? Outside, above the base. There's a nest of sun winds that are always up for a fight. Ever thought of sparring with something that's not trying to kill you? That would defeat the purpose of the training. <laughs> I love Katalo. You're training. Anything else you've been looking at with that focus? Gaia showed me the knowledge you recovered out in the desert. I am no chaplain, but I'd be curious to test if something I read is true. What is it? The old ones believed one could hear the great waters, even in the middle of the desert, if you carried the carcass of a water animal with you. They called them seashells. That sounds... kind of gross. <laughs> Farewell. I'll let you get back to your training. And so will I. All right, I forgot it shows you your progress on the wall. All right, let's go talk to Beta and see if she's being tolerable. Let's see, what's the... I always get confused in this place. Here we go. <laughs> Apparently she doesn't have anything new to say, but I'll talk to her regardless. Uh, hi. I'm back. What do you want to know? Uh, what have you been up to? So, have you, um... Have you been going through more of the recordings for my focus? What about studying Hephaestus? Have you been doing that? A little. It's quite different from the subordinate function that escaped Gaia Prime 20 years ago. How so? It's mutating. Changing its own code. At this rate, we'll never capture it. We'll find a way. If you say so. Getting along with everyone? Clearly not me. So, aside from Varl and Gaia, who else have you been talking to? Zoe told me how you met after your escape from the Hades Proving Lab. I had no idea you were severely injured. If the Zenus had killed you, life on Earth would be doomed. My escape would have been for nothing. But they didn't kill me. And thanks to Varl and Zoe, I was able to recover. Getting along with everyone? You said you and Varl talk sometimes. What about? He told me about your tribe, the Nora, and the proving ritual you did. I told him if I was born into the tribe, I'd never be able to do the proving. It does require a lot of physical training, but there are plenty of other roles besides being a hunter. I don't think I'd be suited for any of them. Well, I guess it's a good thing you're not a Nora then. <laughs> uh, all right, talk to you later. That's enough for now. Good. I love how annoyed she gets with herself. Or an aspect of herself, her clone. I believe it is time. Time to turn in Demeter. Well, they didn't have two left feet like I do. I could teach you. Don't tempt me. Find a forge. Find an inn. And leave me alone. <laughs> Varl is really into dancing, apparently. But I guess he can't do it. It is good to see you again, Aloy. I see you have recovered Demeter.
With the acquisition of Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus. Unfortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beam cast, and the kernel you have been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? Gemini. An abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. Two data cores were built as a result. I know that place. It's near the Desert Clan's capital. I'll have to bring you there by hand. I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport rig. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work! I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it! Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher- Ted Pharaoh's Mega Clearance. The one he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. But to get it, you would have to find Thebes. The private bunker he retreated to when the world ended, and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. That might be all I need. Alva, the Quen Diviner I met, said her people had set up a base at Landfall. They were searching for data in San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone. Will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. I'll make sure she has what she needs. Hova said the Quen have a ferry on the coast that they use to get to the ruins of San Francisco. That's where I need to go. I guess my time with the Quinn is not yet done. New Ava, main quest, Pharaoh's Tomb. I have managed to unlock an additional room near the servers. Understood. Oh, I wonder if that's the one in the basement. Nice. All right, so let's take a look at my quest. Pharaoh's Tomb, it's level 26. Might do some side, a bunch of side stuff before we get there. I'm thinking I will. Um, but I want to look around here first. And uh, there's also a new quest I could pick up. I've got freaking 15 skill points. I don't want to use any of these. Is there anything else in Infiltrator that's any good? Stealth Stalker? Nah. Uh, what was this one again? Radio Oh, the Radio Blast! This one's actually pretty good. 
I might want to get this. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this. So, smoke bomb capacity, whatever. I don't care about it. Eat it. And then we get a quiet spear again. And that gives us the radial blast. Yeah, it's actually pretty good and it doesn't cost much. I was using it on uh, that one um, challenge. I'll go ahead and upgrade it to level 2. Oh, damage versus shocked enemies for 15 seconds goes up 100%. Yeah, this could be good. I'm going to equip it. Cool. I'll save the rest of my points. All right. Gaia wants to talk. Hey, Gaia. Me again. Welcome back, Aloy. Where shall we resume? Questions about subordinate functions. Demeter. Have you been able to make use of Demeter's functions? Yes. I was able to mitigate most soil conditions and restore a temporary balance. You should notice less rampant plant growth in the area. Maybe that'll give Plainsong's fields a chance to recover. Unfortunately, recovery in that area is unlikely without the assistance of the Utaru's land gods. I have discussed this matter with Zo. I believe we may have a workaround. Yeah, I'm helping her out with that. Demeter. There's something I'm still trying to figure out. Why was Demeter using flying machines to distribute metal flowers? In its deranged state, Demeter was defending itself against a robotic swarm that would devour all plant life. It thought the Pharaoh Plague was still happening? It feared it would come again. As part of its directive of receding Earth's vegetation, it sought to protect plant life at all costs. And considering it had 20 years to proliferate, I expect you will continue to find the fruits of its efforts for some time. That's a good thing I have the code to dissolve the vines then. Uh, our progress. Beta. Beta's convinced we won't be able to capture Hephaestus. With that attitude, do you really think she'll be able to build the rig and pulse generators? It may take some coaxing, but with some assistance, I am confident she will. I don't get her, Gaia. She's so quick to assume we'll fail. She's nothing like... like what I thought she'd be. I guess it'll be best if she stays here when we go to Gemini. Companions. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Erend has asked on numerous occasions about birthday parties. He appears perplexed by the tradition of serving a sweet confection as it conflicts with the Osaram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. He also suggested we host a party for you, as a surprise. Uh, yeah, no thanks. That is what I predicted. <laughs> Gaia, you ruined the surprise party. Companions. Is Catalo getting along with everyone? Yes, though he prefers to spend most of the time alone. He appears to be collating data on war machine progression and significant battles during the Pharaoh Plague to aid in the creation of a war map of Operation Enduring Victory. I believe he aims to study the tactics of old world warfare. I'd be interested in seeing that. It appears to be a private pastime for him. He has repeatedly declined my offers to assist his research. Plan to capture Hephaestus. So our plan to capture Hephaestus. Let's go over it again. As you wish. Thanks to Beta's test, we now know that Hephaestus will not respond to your Alpha Clearance. Which is why you will need to procure Ted Pharaoh's Omega Clearance. Right. From his personal bunker, Thebes. While you are gone, I will assist Beta in building the transport rig and pulse generators. 
When we get to Gemini, I will need to be installed on one of the facility's cores. The second core is for Hephaestus. Using Omega clearance will allow you to trap it. And then you'll be able to absorb it? Not quite. You will need to manually remove Hephaestus's malicious code before the merge. How long will that take? There are calculations I still must run, but I estimate a few hours. And during that time, the others will create a distraction for us using the pulse generators, right? Correct. They will each take position at a cauldron door and fire off their device. The energy surge should mask our activities until the merge is complete. And then we'll have everything we need to defeat the Zenus. Sounds like a plan. Biosphere status. So now that you have Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided. Water sources have been purified. And soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. Well, with luck, soon you'll have Hephaestus. Then you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. I will be able to design and produce robotic agents to permanently reverse the environmental damage that has accumulated. Omega clearance. There's something I've been wondering. How could Ted Farrow create a clearance level higher than Alpha? Elizabeth made sure he wouldn't interfere with the project. It is plausible he tasked his own engineers with creating a backdoor to the Zero Dawn system. Without Elizabeth's knowledge. My predecessor did not even know of its existence until he activated it to purge the Apollo database. It is, in effect, a blind spot. One that will allow us to subdue Hephaestus. And fortunately, thanks to Beta's information, we know where Omega Clearance may be procured. Right. Somewhere in San Francisco. About the old world. Uh, about Gemini. So Gemini has two data cores. I've never seen a cauldron like that. But you mentioned something about seismic activity? When my predecessor attempted to build the cauldron, construction was disrupted by a series of earthquakes. The data core had already been built, but the rest of the facility sustained damage. So, she began again. A second core was built. However, when more tremblers occurred, she abandoned the site. Lucky for us. Are the quakes still happening? No. Though they did also create instabilities in other facilities in the region. Old World Discoveries. So the facility where I recovered Demeter used to be a Faro agricultural research facility. It's where they created the biomass conversion system, but also adamantine wreath. Did Elizabeth know they were working on that? It is likely she was briefed on other efforts to combat the machine swarm. Though her focus was devoted only to Zero Dawn. That makes sense. But they actually got the wreaths to work. If they've been able to deploy it against the Pharaoh Plague in time... Using the data you recovered on the project, I ran several simulations and have concluded that it would never have worked. In all scenarios, the Pharaoh War Machines would eventually hack and deactivate the wreath before they could contain the swarm. So Zero Dawn really was the only solution. Old World Discoveries. There was a lot of data in the greenhouse facility about agriculture. Do you think it'll help the Quen fix their homeland? I will run a query. Complete. The data contains information about novel crop production methods, which may be beneficial to the tribe in the long term. But new crops aren't going to save the world, so I guess it's on us. It is. 
Hey Shannon, just started playing Horizon Zero Dawn and never knew about the Horizon franchise until I saw you on YouTube. Thank you, I love this game. Awesome, good to hear. Yeah, Horizon's awesome. Great game. Just don't go to the arena <laughs> if you play Forbidden West. I guess I should get going. As you say, be well. Okay, so we talked to Gaia. We've got at least one drone module to stick in. Oh, wait. Or do we? Actually, we might not. I can never tell when there's like a new one available, but I think it lights up if there is. So maybe there actually wasn't. I like this one. Uh, yeah, I guess that's all I've got. Yeah, oh, I see. It shows me the areas I did and the ones I didn't. Okay, got it. Okay, I want to see this new room that opened up, apparently near the servers. I assume that's the one at the very bottom. But I don't know. Oh, but first, everyone wants to talk to me again. He's like, uh... Gaia's own personal blacksmith. Yeah, a very angry one. As like my uncle Laurent, man didn't smile a day in his life and would box your ears if you messed with his forge. That's just I hear about you going west. Turns out we need one last thing before we can grab Hephaestus. Because it would have been too easy otherwise. Companions. How are things with Catalo? You still scared of him? Oh, she thinks she's funny. Actually, I played strike with him. I had to fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. Glad to hear it. Your training. You've been looking at any interesting data? I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back, and she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solid food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining up to watch. Farewell. I need to get going. I think I know the answer, but are you sure you don't need any help? Gaia mentioned this uh, other tribe you found, the Quen. They sound like a nasty bunch. I can handle them. In the meantime, Varl will help you get ready for what comes next. Take care of yourself, Aloy. I'm sorry, Aloy. After all the trouble you went through, you have to head west again. Oh, well, no one said this was gonna be easy. You sure you don't want any backup dealing with the Quen? They think I'm Sobek, or something like that. They won't hurt me, but I doubt they'll be so kind to anyone else. If you say so, let me know if you need anything before you go. Your training. You better not be slacking off on your studies while I'm gone. And risk Zo coming after me? I value my life. In fact, I've been reading about Ted Farrow. How he destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved it. He definitely was a piece of work. Your training. While Beta and Gaia built the rig, can you get everyone ready for the mission ahead? Of course. What is it? Nothing. It's just that everything's about to change. We'll get Gaia, and she'll help us set things right. No more zeniths, no more derangement. It'll be a different world. I welcome it, but I wonder how the Nora will react, and the Karja, and, well, everyone. Let's just focus on fixing Gaia for now. You're right. We've got an angry AI to take down. The Zeniths. If I get Omega Clearance and then we grab Hephaestus, we might finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging Thunderjaws. Better them than us, for once. Farewell. I'll be in touch if I need anything. I'll make sure Beta briefs everyone on the pulse generators. Good. Alright, what's up, Zo? Aloy, 
Aloy, I hear you're going further west, past the Tanakh clan lands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the Old Ones built towers there that touched the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. Companions. You and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh, training, I mean. We're doing fine. Although I admit it'd be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? Well, there's always Catalo. Leave allowed Osaram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? Companions. What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to sleep up here instead of in that dark basement. She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. I'm not giving up hope yet. Your training. How much have you read on Ted Farrow? Enough to wonder how a man who worked so hard to heal the world once could let greed and pride condemn it so easily. For one spirit to diminish in such a way, I, I'm not sure if I should hate him or pity him. Farewell. Well, I should get going. Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Festus. After that, I'm gonna need everyone's help. We'll be ready. I certainly do not pity Ted Farrow. Alright, looks like Catalo has a quest? Interesting. Well, let me go talk to Beta first, and I want to see this room. Because I... will not be distracted. And dirt. Don't forget all that dirt we had to bring in. If we're going to go around trying to protect life... We should have more of it around. I think it looks nice. Uh, wait. Oh, it's this way. Hey, me again. Was there something else? What have you been up to? So do you have everything you need to build the rig and pulse generators? Gaia sent me the schematics. The designs are... modest. Without the capabilities of Hephaestus, but... they should work. Not that it matters without a mega clearance. I'll find it. Just... Try to have the transport ready by the time I get back. Talk to you later. I'll be going. Okay. Bye. Okay. Wait, this room's still locked? Oh, I remember this room. Oh, okay. Looks like I can open that door now. Wait, what door? Huh? What are you talking about? Less of what list? was this room for, Gaia? Oh. This was intended as a diagnostic center to monitor machine activity in the repair bay below. It appears most of the equipment was damaged. Likely from Minerva's control of this facility. Yeah, she did try really hard to keep me out. Okay, apparently there's this room, not the one at the very bottom, and there's a spot Looks for like a, a battery. Could fit here. Which I can get in the other room. The vault. I found a locked door behind the vent in the basement. I wonder if that's it. I've got to be more careful. Jensen almost caught onto my plan while we were going over the diagnostic center specs. I've got nothing against the rest of the team. It, it's just... I'm sure they've all got family they're gonna meet up with in Elysium. But me? I couldn't even bury August. There is nothing of him left besides my memories. I won't let those blink out of existence, too. The vault's for us, no one else. 
Eleven more weeks before we lock the blueprints. Then the rest will be up to Gaia. Hmm, some dude made a secret bunker? Alright, let me go grab that power cell, maybe it opens it. I think that power cell was in here, maybe? maybe not. Oh wait, this? Oh, that just opened that door. But if I'm not mistaken, there should be a power cell up here? Maybe? Yeah, there we go. Look at this. Oh no, she dropped it. Oh, okay, never mind. We're good. I thought it like disappeared when it hit the ground. Alright, what do you do? Okay, that console has power now. What console? Oh, this console. From the looks of this data, Festus has been trying to hack into the repair bay. Ah, okay, doesn't look like it's been able to. Alright, where the heck is that? Data points, caterpillars in chrysalis, the vault, and repair bay log. All right, text log, data corruption is minimal, log RBTAU, intrusion, source, external target firewall, blah, 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 countermeasure phase shift, breach firewall, countermeasure failed. Main production, external override, main production, downloading, reboot, purge, successful. Yeah, there's something. I'm trying to get past firewalls, apparently. Hephaestus trying to get in. How rude. Okay, well, I was thinking that might open up the bottom, but uh, apparently not. So, let's go talk to Kotalo, who apparently has a quest now. I just think she talks a lot. You would too, if you knew everything there is to know about everything. She can also crank out a whole army of machines to kick your sorry behind once she's fixed. Well, I guess I just better stay on her good side then. Got a minute? As many as you need. I have to travel beyond the western coast. To the ruins, shrouded in fog. Yes. And I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping the Tanakh knew more about them. Hmm. There were rumors of trespassers in the area, but... We thought they were just bandits. Hikaro sent out a patrol or two, but... I don't recall them reporting back. We've had more pressing concerns, as you know. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. <sighs> it's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's personal. If you have a moment to spare. Uh, let me ask you about companions first. Companions. What do Tanakh do to relax? You know, to take a break from training? We play strike. Your Osirum friend, Erend, is surprisingly good at it. Although he has yet to beat me. It helps one think strategically. Hones the mind for tactics. Somehow that still sounds like training. Your training. Found anything interesting during your training? Gaia told me where to find data on how wars were waged in the old world. I knew the Ten fought against machines, much as we do now. But it seems they were among the last of their kind. Later, machines battled other machines on behalf of greedy leaders, as they vied for lands and spoils. At least the Tanakh have the courage to put their lives on the line when conflicts arise. There is nobility in that. But maybe we just need fewer conflicts in the first place. Yes, of course. 
Hikaru would have it so as well. A personal request. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with old world machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. So he's gonna get a metal arm. Nice, he's going Skywalker. I should get going. I've got a long road ahead. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy. What was lost? A new side quest. Ah, uh, all right. What are we gonna freaking do? We got so many things. Um, is this the need to know? Oh, Talana. I totally forgot about Talana. Talana's search for Amadis continues. It appears that he traveled further west, seeking an old Tanakh prison called the Rot. Where was this one again? Maybe we do this. I feel like I've been sitting on this one the longest. Totally forgot about old Talana. Oh. Oh, she's in Thornmarsh. Well, we can definitely go meet her. Okay, let's let's do this one first. I've had this for freaking ever. All right, how do I get out of here again? I always forget. The icons help. Here we go. Here's an exit. Hey, Jessica, good to see you. Wonder if, uh. Hey, it's a long way to the coast. If you need to resupply en route, I suggest stopping in Falls Edge. It's a lowland clan village southwest of the grove, in the heart of the jungle. Got it. Thanks for the advice. Hmm. I think I've been to Falls Edge. I think that's that. that, uh, town that's built on the waterfall. It seems quieter when it snows. Rumor lady! Sit, please. Do you actually know something? A squad of young ones recently returned to Scalding Spear, our main settlement just west of here. Apparently, they lost a soldier to machines during a training mission in No Man's Land. Just goes to show that the wilds can be just as dangerous to the east as they are here. Be careful out there. Will do. The music in metal. I get the feeling that might be Sakura's squad. I should check up on her when I can. I remember Sakura. Let's see. Do we do this? Yeah, you know what? Scalding Spear. We've been there before. I did it again. I got distracted. Music and metal. Sakura and her squad return to Scalding Spear after parting ways with Jax and Korra. She may appreciate seeing a friendly face again. I don't remember the storyline exactly. I think they had to leave for some reason. Jackson Cora. Oh man, I don't remember. I remember like doing the quest. I remember the characters. And then I remember I went to that one tower and got something that she needed for some reason or another. But I don't remember the details. But anyways, let's, let's go meet up with her and maybe uh, my memory will be refreshed. Alright, where are they? Over here? There she is. 
Yep, I remember her. Aloy, wasn't expecting to see you in Scalding Spear. I hear you fixed the wound. And stopped the war within our clan. I was just lucky your commander was willing to listen. Wasn't luck that took down the bulwark. Or fought off Regala. What's next? Saving the world? <sighs> if I'm lucky. Um... Have you been to Plainsong? Did you see Corey? I did. He's doing well. He's playing music. Music? Yeah, I can see that. He always carried a tune well. I never thanked you. You did right by him. So did you. At the ready, soldiers. What's going on? My squad's being sent on patrol northwest of here. I won't be able to see Corey for a long time. I wonder if you could let him know. I don't want him to think I've abandoned him. We are moving out. Please. If I find my way to Plainsong, I'll let him know. Sakura, I will leave your scab ass behind. Thank you, Aloy. Okay, now I vaguely rem Wow, is another quest here? Uh, now I vaguely remember this. With some sort of Tanakh, he had to part ways with the tribe for some reason, and he was playing music in plain song. Maybe he was mutilated? I don't remember. But yeah, he had to leave Tanakh for some reason. So, anyways, let's go check in on him, see what he's up to. <laughs> Who wants to play a drinking game? Take a shot every time Shinies gets distracted. Hey, I don't want anybody to, to die during my streams. That's a one-way trip to alcohol poisoning. I forgot about, the, about this place. I like it a lot. And what the heck is that? Is that like some sort of temple? Or is that just the rock? It's looking a little weird. Like, it kind of looks like a structure over there. Is that? Let's see. I'm facing over here. Maybe it is a structure. Oh, uh, maybe it's up here? Have I been up there? Yeah, I guess I did go up there at one point. Huh. Let's see. Do I want to go up here? I think I do. Hey, Lord, you returned. I hear you've been making quite the impression on the clan lands. Saving the desert clan from itself, forcing the commander Takote out of hiding. Defending the grove from Regala? I didn't do it alone. The humble words of a true warrior. Your sister sent me. Her squad's been assigned further west, so she won't be able to come see you, Corey. She wanted to make sure you knew. That sounds like my sister. Is something wrong? No. Yes. There's a song I want to play, one of my own making, but it's hopeless. I'm just never going to get the sound right. What makes you say that? Back in the clan lands, the Sky Clan built instruments that cast sound to sky and across the mountains. They use long leg throats to make them bellow with the sound of metal. It's how they communicate between villages. Combining that sound with the Utarus would create a melody unlike anyone's ever heard before. But I won't be hunting for any long legs anytime soon. For now, you should try to metal weaver again. They might have some new piece you can use. Right. This song means a lot to him, doesn't it? It does, which is why I'm getting him that machine part. It'll be a surprise. The Utaru say that's the best way to receive a gift. Is there a long leg around here? As it happens, one has been troubling some villages southwest of here. 
You be doing me and Plain Song a favor by getting rid of it. Interested? Maybe. Corey's surprise. I didn't think the Tanakh cared much about gifts. When I first moved here, I remember some days were more difficult than others. But I came to embrace the life I found here, and I, I don't see why I can't help Corey do the same. He's lucky to have you. Long leg? Tell me more about this long leg. It's a particularly nasty one. Looks different, too. Tainted like the lands around here. It protects a group of machines that overran a small outpost southwest of Plainsaw. Its call is easy enough to track, but if it spots us, it'll call reinforcements faster than you can draw your bow. Take it out with the rest of those machines, though. Plain Song has one less problem to deal with, and Corey gets to play his melody. Victory for all. Let's track this long leg. If I make my way down there, I'd like to help. I appreciate that. I'll head southwest and see if I can pick up a trail. Okay, so I do remember now. He got, like, blasted in the eyes with, like, an acid canister or whatever. Blinded him, which was why he couldn't go back, because... He'd get outcast or something because he couldn't be a warrior anymore or something. Something like that. Alrighty, well, we're going here. I was supposed to meet him, but I guess I'm just going right to the long way. Oh, he's in there. Dude, you could have waited for me. Maybe I can... Nope. Oh, God. Alright, well, we're in it now. Alright. Let me use my... Uh, this thing. Oh, boom! God, I love it. Finish off this shock. Gotcha. Thought so you could use the backup. What? Oh, they just kill each other? Oh my god, that was awesome. I didn't know that could happen. Alright, what's he got that I can exploit? Anything? No, you know what I'm gonna do. Take some of these! Finish him in style. Oh, you ate the thing member. Thank you for the assistance. Let's have a word. Hold on, hold on, gotta, gotta loot up, buddy. too soon, Huntress. I thought I heard a long legs call, so I hastened to follow, but I was caught unaware by these machines instead. There it is again. Let's go find it. Sorry, bird. Can't just be chilling near me. It's a death sentence. Alright, anyways. Long leg is this way, apparently. I definitely hear it. Oh, 
here. Sounds huh? like our long legs at the top of that cliff. That looks like we got some goodies on the way. I like goodies. I like shinies. Looks like we got some shinies over there. We're climbing. We ain't climbing yet. We ain't climbing yet. Something up there, but that's near it. What's that? Spikes now, blah. In this case, plasma. Pet <laughs> plasma. Plasma is useless. This reminds me of my early days as a veteran. Always running off. To hunt in the wilds. As far away from plain song as possible. What changed? I saw my first Utaru students become fighters worthy of any Tanakh clan. I felt useful, like I belong. And so plain song became home. I'm sure Corey will find his place too. I hope so. Over there. No, nah, looks like I can go. Almost right, so we gotta... there. Oh, it sounds like that long leg isn't alone up there. I'm afraid you might be right. I think I've been up here before. Oh, I totally have. There's our long leg. And the guitar would fell. Might be best to silence it before it can call reinforcements. Yeah, I believe. Well, actually, hold on. What is that? Apex spikes now. All right, we got a trap over there. We got traps all over the place. Looks like they're all apex, unfortunately. So, I guess we'll just try to knock off its antenna. We're in trouble. Oh, not happy to see me? Ow. Right on that resonator blast too. That did some damage. All right, they're enraged. I don't. Well, I was gonna say I don't want to deal with them because they're enraged, but I guess they're all enraged. That's fun times. You know what? Let's see how much this will do. Mm, not bad. Oh god, well I dodged one and ran right into the next one. Alright, got him. Ow. Rude. Try to finish him off. Ow. Just hit me. Oh god. I'm fine. Everything's cool. Oh, why did I do that? I thought I had the toughen for some reason. I probably just wasted that. Sure did. I'm so used to having toughen. Ow. Rude. Ow. Hold on, hold on. I'm okay. I'm okay. Take some of this. Ow, what? How did that hit me? Oh, a bunch of nonsense. Oh, I missed. Terrible. 
Got him. All right. Long life's dead. Are you serious? Oh my god. What? Oh my god, I dodged that. Bunch of crap. Alright, whatever. In trouble. Made me angry now, it's go time. Made me angry with his BS. Bunch of garbage here. Take some of this. Ah. Some of this crap. What happens when you make me angry? Full on aggression, whoop your butt. One down. You shouldn't have made me angry. Jump back. That's still not enough stamina. Come here, stupid bird. You wouldn't want to see me when I'm angry. Shut up! No one likes you. You like that? All dead. Got my frickin' house. Excellent. Now we salvage the part we came to. Okay. I read those stupid Apex machines. Did you say Setsun? I mostly lose track of YouTubers once they get huge. Used to watch some of the heavy hitter channels before they got mega huge, but eventually they change with popularity and I lose interest. Yeah, I mean, you can't really blame them. Like, if you... If you discover some, like, crazy cash cow and there's a certain type of thing that you can do that makes you tons of money, it's like, do you really want to pass that up? Like, even if it's... Not necessarily what you initially planned it to be. I don't know. I think a lot of people wouldn't. Some people would. I don't think it's something that happens overnight, though. It just kind of, like, you would, you know, kind of just notice trends going in a certain way. It's like, oh, when I do this type of thing, people like it, and they watch it, and then I get more views and more money, and then, like, it just kind of goes from there. If I was making the money they were, I would 100% would follow the trends that the mature <laughs> majority enjoyed. Yeah, I mean, I think most people would. I think we all kind of have our number, so to speak. 
Like, at a certain point, you would do something that maybe you necessarily wouldn't like because it's so lucrative. Like, you only get so many chances in life to make, like, major league money, and I don't think most people would pass them up. And most people won't ever even get the option, so... <laughs> Like, there's a lot of people that think I make a lot of money on here, and that is definitely not the case. I'd have to be... I'd have to get, like... I, I don't even know. What would be... Maybe, like, 20 times the views to, like, really, like, make, like, the... What, what I would consider, like, the big boy money. How are you supposed to get up? Oh, see, see, this is what I'm talking about, Seth Simon. You gotta remember, you can drag these down. So if they look like that, you just grab them. And I always forget. Oh, why didn't that work though? It was the angle I took. It. know if I would like to me a sellout is different like to me a sellout is somebody that like changes their morals for money I think this is different because this is just like hey more people like it when I do this thing and usually that thing isn't like compromising your morals so I don't consider it the same thing for everybody. Some people absolutely will compromise all of their morals <laughs> to, for money. And th that's what I would call a sellout. But if you like just change how you do things because it's more lucrative, I don't consider that necessarily a sellout. Like, like for example, if I was like, or me or anybody was like totally like anti microtransactions, which I am. And then suddenly like, because it was lucrative, like I got some deal with like Blizzard or whatever. And they're like wanting me to promote Diablo Immortal. And suddenly I'm like, microtransactions are the best thing in the world. That would be a sellout to me. Cause I clearly had a certain stance until money was involved. Care to show me our prize, Huntress? Alright, let me, before I talk to him, because he's probably going to teleport me away, let me make sure I got everything. I think we're good. Oh wait, let me get this rat. Many thanks, Aloy. Without you, I might have been in trouble. Why don't you take that piece to Corey for me? The villagers felled by these machines need to have their seeds buried properly first. Are you sure? Tell Corey I better be the first to hear that song of his when I return. Oh wow, this was a village? Doesn't look like it. I guess there's some structures, but there's like no houses or anything. Well, whatever. Here now? Oh, he relocated. Hello! Kore. Aloy? I thought you had left Plainsong. Well, I thought about it, but then I'd have to carry this long leg throat all by myself. You found? Jax did. <laughs> that old man. Can still hear perfectly fine. So let's hear it. I'm gonna need some help, Aloy. Can you take this to the workbench, please? You won't have to do much, I promise. You'll see a wide cavity on the instrument. That piece should fit right in. 
All right, I'm crafting it for him. It's Quest items. Corey's instrument and a long leg throat, a wooden metal musical instrument that combines Utaru and Tanakh designs. You want to improve hey, your next Let hunt? Your Let's trade. I think it's good to go. <laughs> the golf club. Song of two peoples, indeed. Thank you, Aloy. My debt to you seems to only grow. Hearing that was payment enough. That may be, but you should at least take this. You deserve it. May the wings of the ten hearten your step. We completed our errand. The music and metal. Wow, three skill points for that one. I find it so weird when uh, some people say I sounded younger back then, like I was some, you know, young kid who just started his channel and now I'm an adult. It's like, I was 28. I'm 34 now. I'm almost 35. I don't know. I always find it funny. Alright. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, I got a rebel outpost. Wasn't showing as new before, but now it is. It's level 31. Man, we got so many outposts. I actually really don't like the outposts. The, the humans are such a pain in the butt. Uh, but anyways. I remember there was another quest over in Scalding Spear. Yep, I'm going to go check that out. Is there any other quests that have popped up? That's the one thing that's been shocking in this game. Is just how much stuff pops up as you're going about doing normal things I'm your age Scarlet I awesome <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad I'm gonna take it as neutral no I'm not saying you sounded young but you had a, a bit of an oomph to your intros when it came to FF 15 and beyond yeah I mean I learned how to uh, make my voice better? I guess? You do something enough, you get better at it. I still don't like my voice to this day, but it's better. But then again, most people don't like their own voice. Oh, Draka. I think they're saying you've mellowed out. Your courage inspires us. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I was rereading that. I think the the, the big difference was uh, improving my audio setup, and then and then just learning how to control my voice better I guess I hate you you know that bird trouble damn things a curse sometimes I think being commanders a curse that Yara's laughing at me from beyond the grave what's wrong 
Her stupid bird flew in yesterday with this in its beak. It's a cord that Tanakh children use to carry their training swords. Kind of thing one of our young doesn't lose unless something bad has happened. I checked around. Turns out a kid's missing. Wandered off the day before last. Search parties turned up nothing. The clan's lost kids before, just not while I'm in charge. Let me see that thing. There's a bit of quartz on here. It's probably sand. Some dirt and clay with a red hue. Sand, dirt, and red clay? I know a spot where all three meet. Just south of the settlement. Meet me there as soon as you can. Wait, you're not just gonna send someone? Well, what if we need that relic of yours again? Besides, you and me rescuing a kid? The clan will eat that up. Right, because making you look good is what's important. <laughs> We're gonna help anyway? Come on, Aloy, stand up for yourself. Uh, you know what? We'll save that for later. I want to meet up with Talana. I have not talked to her in so long. So she's over at Thorn Marsh. That's where I'm going. I'm going to take the free travel. Kick that dude in the chest. <laughs> I don't like this guy. I teamed with the lady. That's right. You did get the choice, and uh, I wonder what her quest would have been. Maybe the same. Draka's too full of himself. A little bit, yeah. I guess I don't need that. Oh my god, is there another, there's a quest here too? There's so many! Alright, you know what? I am gonna let myself get distracted just to see what it is. I must know. Who is this? Ateka? I don't think we know this person. Are you looking to trade? She'll be back. Best now. Keep an eye on her. Is she sick? <laughs> it's Aloy, isn't it? Walk with me. I am Ateka, commander of the Lowland clan. The girl, Zella, was poisoned by the blood choke. For months, it has polluted our waters, depriving us of food and clean drink. We've learned to live with it as best we can. But recently, without explanation, the filth cleared from much of the lowland. Yet one river still runs red, like a split vein from a rotted corpse. So the water here is still poisoned? Exactly. I sent my best squad to find its source, led by Zala's mother. They failed to report back. Akaro told me how you dropped part of the throne on Magala at the Cool Root. Saved his life. So lend me your strength. Together we can find my squad and the source of the poison. Hikaru. Sounds like you know Hikaru pretty well. He was my commander before he was my chief. I had served in his squad since we were bare-armed youths. Back then, he was a merciless warlord. Determined to destroy any enemy of the Lowland clan. I was with him the day he took the grove. Stood guard outside as he claimed the throne within. He entered a conqueror but returned with the ambition of ending the constant bloodshed between the clans. Because he saw Faraday's message. Yes. That vision changed him, gave him new purpose. He became our first chief, ruler of all Tanakhth, and dedicated the tribe to fighting machines instead of each other. 
Your role. If you're so close with Hikaru, why aren't you a marshal? I wanted to serve as one, but Hikaru needed someone he could trust to lead his former clan. Maintaining control of the desert and sky clans is difficult enough for him. But the title wasn't handed to me. I fought for the honor as our rights demand. Five days of scars and blood. By the last sunset, I stood alone. The new commander. Close to 20 years have passed since. Blood choke. This blood choke. Is that what you call the red algae? Yes. A couple years ago, it was only a thin streak of red in the river. It grew over time. Until it was a constant poison. It sickens those who drink the polluted water, kill the fish we used to catch. But a while ago, unexplainably, the rivers began to clear. All except for one. Because of it, my people continue to waste away, weakening the clan. The missing squad. I'll help you find your missing squad. Good. I'm heading out now. The longer the blood choke remains, the longer my people suffer. We'll follow the Red River. The squad would have done the same. Might be able to pick up some sign of them. You ready? I, I knew I'd get distracted. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's head out. We'll start at the mouth of the Red River. Sorry, Talana. You're going to have to wait again. For months, I've watched as the strongest warrior and the smallest child alike fell ill from the blood choke. When the other rivers cleared, it seemed like the tide had finally turned. To see those hopes dashed. Hey, we'll get to the bottom of this. We must. There's the mouth of the river. We follow it upstream, we find the source of the poison. And hopefully, the squad. I'll follow your lead. Yeah, you better. Uh, I hear something stomping around as I heard. Just lead foot. Well, there's something over there. Green shine fragment. I'm gonna pick that up. The machine was taken down recently. Whoever brought down this machine was precise. Must have been the missing squad. They struck true as the ten. get to that. Maybe I have to go from below. Maybe I could get there from here. Let's see. Ugh, well, let me climb. There we go. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to glide over from over here. I think we could manage it. Let's Don't think I can follow you there. Let's see. Here I come. No. Got it. Nice. Got it. All right, so there's a bunch of stuff up there. Coming up on an unknown charger site. I highly doubt this team was taken down by some chargers. Those machines couldn't have been brought down easily. And there's blood. They're all ravagers, too. Someone barely walked away from this fight. The squad must have pushed on. Let's go up the river.
Oh, what's this? Hello. Life. Supply cash. Okay, let's look around. Sounds like fighting. The squad could be in trouble. I'm coming. What you fighting? Tanakh soldiers. That's the squad. We have to bring those machines down. I better look at more cauldrons. Alright. Monkeys. And monkeys. Hello, monkeys. Get close, I dare you. And I can do it. Oh, right. He's got uh, coils. I thought they were guarding. Alright, where's that other monkey? He got coils too. He does, but his are guarded, aren't they? I guess not. Yeah, never mind. Just look like it. Oh, not up there! Oh, he's so screwed. Got him. Hello, monkey. Bad move. Oh, you got away with it. Oh, they ruined my stun. Ah, eh, whatever. It's over. Squad, gather round. You hate the clamber jaws? They're not that bad. Especially when they have the the coils. Commander, and the chief's champion. Your help came just in time. Keep hiding goodies from me. Oh, there's one down there too. How about your injuries? Nothing. That won't mend. There's one over there. There's one up there. There's one up there. Wow, they're all over the place. All right. I guess they really expected a hardcore battle against these monkeys. I'm sorry, you have to come find us, Commander. It was worth it to find you alive. They were expecting quite the battle against the evil monkey. Stella, is she on the mend? She'll survive. All right, now I gotta get over there. How am I gonna do that? I'm gonna climb up and glide. I'll just use that. Commander, and the chief's champion. Your help came just in time. Wow, look at all that. Wait, where was that? There it is. How bad are your injuries? <laughs> Nothing. Going down. Uh, how long did what take? I think I missed a message. I'm sorry. You had to come find us, Commander. It was worth it to find you alive. How long did it take me to complete the Piteos ruins? Oh, uh, I apparently didn't have as much trouble as a lot of people do, I guess, in there. I got. I remember I got lost at a couple places. I couldn't figure out where Sarah, to go forward, she, but the, the jumps weren't She's really that big of a deal for me. So, I don't know. It's still a super long dungeon. So, uh, if I had to guess, 
hour to two hours. Died a few times, but nothing too bad. Commander and the chief's champion. I remember I actually got Your help stuck in the in first area more than any other. Like I couldn't figure out that first like big room for some reason. I think that's where I got stuck the most. How about your injuries? Nothing. That won't mend. Those dead machines? That was never there before. Aloy, good fighting. Hateka, these weren't ordinary machines. They were overridden by rebels. Regala. Another poison to contend with. How did this start? We fought our way up the river to here. And then... We found that. We advanced to investigate. We had just started the climb when these machines attacked. Seemed like they were on patrol. A pile of dead machines, a poison river, and Regal's rebels. That can't be a coincidence. I agree. Rest. And then head back to Thornmarsh. Little Zella is waiting for you. Aloy and I will take it from here. Yes, Commander. If there are rebels up there, it could be a trap. We'll fight our way through regardless. You with me? Let's find a way up. On your lead, Aloy. That's a lot of dead machines. Normally, fresh water would be gushing over the edge. Now it's just poison. Well, I'm guessing we go up this way again. So. Up this way. She's probably like, uh, yeah, I can't do that. Whatever the heck you just did. Alright, so there's something there. Looks like I could maybe go up this one? What's that over there? I don't know what that is. Oh, let's see if there's anything here. Looks like I can climb up. It looks like we'll have to climb up the falls. Right through the blood choke. Let's do it. What is that over there? <sighs> this water smells like rot. Try living with it. Damn filth! All over my hands. Useful for me. Just don't let go. Don't have to tell me twice. Oh, I hope this holds. So many dead machines. How? Ah, oh, crap. I'm okay. That reaction was a little slow. That sounds like a machine. Is there a way back up? Oh, do I have to go all the way around again? I think I do. Oh my god, that's so evil. Why would they do that? Or no, maybe not. What are they wanting me to do here? I don't see an alternative. I guess I could go around. Yeah, okay. We're gonna take this around. to fight that thing, aren't we? <sighs> Probably. Indeed, but what else we got? Camp. So many machines. Oh my Butchered. god. There's fresh water coming from those falls. That dam must be blocking it. We'll have to take out the rebels first before we can deal with it. Two against many. Look All for the soldiers. lowland. Keep an eye out for machines or lowland. This should be interesting. Got a report? Carl and his elf don't dare challenge us. Thought the lowlanders would have come looking for this place by now. Guess the red poison's made them weak. I'll have your tongue, scab. Easy, Ataka. Kill them all! Blast! 
Oh crap, I didn't want to go down here. It's not where I wanted to be! Well, whatever, we're doing it. We got the big boy. Oh wow, that's a ton of damage. Maybe I fought an Apex one before. Woo, get out of there! Alright, so we got the big boy over here with the big boy guns, but I can use that. What is he using? I've never seen that before. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? Ha! Oh, that didn't do crap! Alright, whatever, do it again. Oh my god, what did he do to me? <laughs> That's not the first time a human has just, like, sent me to the Shadow Realm. Some kind of rebel camp. So many machines. Butcher. There's fresh water coming from those falls. That did that was, was nothing moment. compared to what that other person we'll did have to, to me. Take out the rebels first before we can deal with it. Two against many. But the lowlanders will like, for the lowland. On this difficulty, if you go even near those big guys, they I just do that to you. Scab. It's not the first time it's Easy happened. Attacker. Boom. Wow, that did nothing, literally. That helmet. Oh. That's not the helmet. Oh god, terrible. There we go. Oh, he was smart enough to dodge. Oh god. Ah, I cannot hit this guy. I am terrible right now. There we go, finally. Where's he at? Nice. Yeah, it's when he's enraged. If he freaking melees you, he's just done. <laughs> Still alive. Stop spraying me with their stupid poison. Oh god, terrible. Oh my god, why do I suck so bad right now? Can't hit anything. There we go. Alright, give me this freaking heavy gun. No. Give me the, give me the goods. Alright, whatever. Ah, oh, crap. Big boys here. Oh, broke his neck. All right, where's that gun? There it is. Acid spitter. Let's see if this does anything against the big fire claw. It's got lots of ammo. Oh, wait. Oh, this is pointless. All right, whatever. Ow. She has entirely too much health. Your target practice. Trying to hit a non armored piece of her body and not. Working. There we go. Ran the leg. Ran the thigh. All right. There's lots of frost to play with over here. That could come in handy, especially against the fire claw. I think that'll be your ticket. Ow! Oh, another heavy dude. All right. Well, that will actually work if I can get a hold of that.
Oh, took that headshot. Stupid heavy weapon. Right, you know what? Let's work on him. Oh, perfect. What? No, hit that. What? Why is it missing? Oh my god. What is happening? Crap. Okay. I thought this would blow up after a couple of hits and be reasonable. Apparently not. That didn't do anything. Pull that up. What the? What is happening? All right, do it, maybe I. They hit it with frost. I thought you could just shoot those. Maybe I gotta use frost. It's been a while since I used these ground things. All right, we'll use the frost hunter bow. Here. All right, now will it work? Right there. Oh, you got in the way. All right, that does work. Boom. Not as much as I would have liked, but I'll take it. Oh, nice. Oh, I can't even get close. All right, hold on. I'm taking the heat. Try to get the rat. You didn't like that. Good catch. Did I just miss? You know how I gotta take care of this dude. He's got no helmet. Gotcha. Give me that. Deathbringer gun. Wow, that didn't do anything. Crap. Oh, how did that still hit me? Take that! Oh god! You didn't like it! You didn't like it! I'll wait here. Wow, the whole area just got like red. Oh, it's the sun. I thought he was doing some nonsense. There on his shoulder. Got it. Beautiful. You get out of here. I'm busy with him. All right, whatever. I guess I'm busy with you now. What are we using against you? I don't know. I could try to free you. Actually, no. There. There's a way to like. Let me just do this. I don't know. It's not working. Oh! Froze me. Hold on. Hold on. Where's my cleansing potions? Cleanse it. That off. Oh no, you don't. Catch the. Oh, I missed. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. 
Luckily, I get another chance. Once I take care of this one. Ow! I'm not giving up. Down. That's not gonna help me all the way over here. Ugh. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll just do. This. Oh crap. Just do this! Stick that on the split. Perfect. And kaboom! That's the last one. What were the rebels doing here? Let's find out. Have a look around. I thought I saw something over by the den. I'll go check it out. All right, that was a pain in the butt. Honestly, though, I feel like the humans were scarier than the fire claw. I think that's the like. I really like that they made the humans not stupid pushovers in this game, but I think they went too far. <laughs> like. Like those freaking heavy gunner dudes where if I'm just near them when they're rampaged and they hit me, I like literally get shot up into orbit like the giants in Skyrim. I, I, I feel like they overdid it. But at the same time, I do appreciate that they're actual fights now. The humans in the first game were so forgettable. Oh, I still had shots in this? No, 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 well. Thank you, thank you. I remembered the, uh, the trick with the shields in the midst of that fight. You've gotta, you gotta put your, um, you gotta put your resonator blast on it and then it weakens it and then you can just take it down with a single shot. Oh man, this was up here. I wonder what that, how much that would have done. That would have been nice. Oh, and there was another freaking gun here. Oh, a Ravager cannon. That would have been nice too. Oh well. I think your empathy companion kept the fire claws attention for the most part. It's that's true. The fire claws are nasty, and she. It's keeping it occupied for me. Oh my god, look at the, all that. That must be all chill water. It's freaking everywhere. Decent amount of stuff here. Including something legendary in this chest. Just ancient sculpture though. I feel like those things are incredibly misleading. It's like it's legendary and it's just shards. Shell snapper, machine carcass with an intact explosive sack protected by heavy armor plating surrounded by an accumulation of blast paste. Sack can be detonated with projectile implant or impact. I bet that's what I'm supposed to do is just blow this shell snapper up, uh, which we will be doing, but let me clear out the rest of the camp first. Okay, 
this view. There's Thorn Marsh. The rebels could keep watch on it from up here. That's one heck of a view. I didn't realize I had gone this way. I didn't realize that at all. I thought I went out the other way. I really love the music in this game. This acid spitter was the worst heavy gun I've Where's ever seen. Even good. even when the when the dude was wielding it, it's like, this is pointless. Like, oh no, you got me poison. Like the least threatening debuff there is. Want for chill water again. video games pick up those giant sacks and somehow it fits. Giant chill water casing. Yeah, let's put that in my back pocket. And these rebel soldiers were doing alright. They got all these gold ingots. They get so rich. Hey Shannies, once you're done with this quest, there's an Easter egg nearby if you want to check it out. I think we'll save that for later because I am already getting overly distracted like I normally do and I am determined to see Talana tonight. <laughs> We have plenty of other things to do. We'll find that Easter egg later. Apparently there's some more stuff I missed. Something over there? And right up there in the sky. Oh, I see what that is. That makes sense. But this one is confusing. What is this one? Oh, is it in this pile? No? No, now I'm confused again. Where is this thing? I'm gonna see it. Hello? Oh, wait, right there? Oh, I think this might be a bug. That doesn't look. Like it's anywhere I can go. If you fast travel with a heavy weapon, does it end up with you? I highly doubt it. Wait, more stuff over there. What? What is going on? Or right, no, no, never mind. Okay, I assume this is just bugged. But that machine lore is not. Capture cannon. Alright, I think we're good. There's something in here, but it's apparently messed up. Again? It's a machine lore. Well, that explains all these machines. Why put it here? 
My focus might show me more. Message for Gunda. Scroll a weathered note with Osram glyphs written in a firm hand. Osram glyphs. The rebels had a large operation here. There has to be something else that'll tell us what was going on. I thought I saw some equipment over by the falls. Come back, Aloy! It's a message from one of the sons of Prometheus. It says the rebels were about to leave, but decided to guard the dam after the water started to clear. They saw an opportunity and seized it. Message for Gunda. Scroll a weathered note with Osram glyphs written in a firm hand. Gunda, I'm leaving this note in case we don't cross paths on the road. I'm heading back to base. We finished the boss's test early. Gave the order to break down camp, but these Tanakh insisted they were staying. Say they have a new mission. Two days back, the water suddenly started running clear. Don't know how or why. The dam's the only thing keeping the red gunk flowing in the river below, all the way to the enemy's capital. Told the Tanakh they can keep the gear. I wasn't about to haul it all down the mountain myself, and if they're dead set on guarding the dam for scavengers, they'll need it. Or from scavengers, they'll need it. Consider this mission accomplished and report back to base immediately. Keep the forge fire strong. Bragduff. Bragduff. All right, well, the only other thing I see is Maybe we missed there. something near the device. Don't think I can follow you there. Scrap pile. Machine scrap and broken corruptor components used for overrides. Are the rebels testing them here? So all these dead machines are what? Failures? Maybe. Wait, can I get to that? I thought I saw some equipment on the cliffs near the falls. Uh, I guess not. Alright, anything else? No, it must be the equipment over here. Well, I guess I blow all this up? Is that what it wants me to do? Because it says investigate. But I think I've seen what there is to see. Use the Ravager Cannon. Mine. Am I supposed to hit? Maybe over here? No. Alright, hold on. Machine carcass with an intact explosive sack. Where's the sack? Maybe I can hit it from up here. Oh, there's something right here. Oh, I can use this. One hit from this thing could do a lot of damage. There's one of these at the grove, in the arena. To put down machines. I think I know what happened. The rebels were luring machines here so they could override them. But they couldn't get them all. So they killed some with the ballista, forming the dam. Once they realized it was blocking clean water from flushing away the blood choke, they decided to stay and protect it. Spineless cowards, poisoning us until we waste away. The dam. Can you break it? I'll take a look. I should scan the dam. Might show me a weak point. Alright. One last look around because that last data There's point. There's an explosive sack from a machine inside the dam. One hit could blow the whole thing up. I just need to find a way to expose it. Search for a way to explode, expose the sack. Well, what happens if I shoot it? Nope. 
take the dam. Sacking me down. Maybe if I get out. Oh, wait. What's that? Maybe if I shoot that? I might be able to pull part of the dam wait open. here. Oh. The sack. I got it. There's the sack. It's going to take a powerful shot to blow it up. And I can't do both at once. The ballista. Ateka, can you fire a bolt from the ballista while I hold this thing open? I'm on it. Teamwork makes the dream work. Let's hope this works. Hold on, I'm almost in position. Hurry up. There we go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Nice flying. Ha ha. We did it. Ateka? It's gone. After all this time, we're finally free of the poisoned waters. Thank you, Aloy. I must return to Thorn Marsh. Meet me there when you can. You deserve a proper reward. All right, do you think I... Head back to Thorn Marsh. This might be a nice glide down. Oh, well, I was going to say, you think I could glide all the way there? And I think that answers my question, so... One last look before we leave. Just that one thing that seems to be bugged. And we are... Gone. She has a lot of faith in that shield. I would use it for gliding, sure, but from that height, I don't know if I would trust it. Looks like the water's cleared up around here. I should find a Tekka. Welcome, warrior. Where is she? Ah, uh, she up here? Where the heck are you? Over there? Ah, oh, there she is. It was all a part of the testing game. The mother's control of the machines. There is no limit to their ruthlessness. Aloy. I was just recounting your deeds at the dam. Our deeds. We did it together. True enough. Look around. Thornmarsh is free of the blood choke. We don't have to live in fear of the poison. It feels like for the first time in months, we can wash our wounds with clean water. And how are you feeling, Zella? Ready to hunt. <laughs> Not yet, mm -hmm. little warrior. I promised you a reward, equal to your deeds. I cannot think of anything more fitting than this. Thank you. Wherever your travels take you, Aloy. May you always fly on the wings of the town.
What'd she give me? To knock the reaver? This wind's blowing strong. I gotta stay upright. What is a Tanakh th Reaver? Uh, is that outfit? Oh, she gave me. Oh, never mind. I thought I was gonna have one of those weird outfits. Tanakh th Reaver, the garb of a Reaver who thrives when injured, channeling their pain into battle rage and bloodlust, valor on impact, low health valor, and stamina regen. Meh. I still like mine. Oh, that's right. I don't have a second coil. I thought I put a second coil on this. Maybe I didn't save. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll do fire and ice. Sure. It's something in there. All right. So, Talana. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna help her tonight. Oh, man. I might as well restock. Talana's over here. Oh, and then just quick look. Aha! I did miss some stuff in there. Two things, in fact. Alright. Let me go back in and grab those. <laughs> Ten seconds later, what's this? Well, I kind of just did that, Dave. Kind of just did that. Hi. So one of them's over there. Where was the other one at? Uh, oh, right there. Greetings, warrior. I know. As soon as I get leave, I'm heading over the train. I have perpetual curiosity. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a weird spot. Oh, crap. Why didn't you use your shield, Aloy? Oh. She didn't even try. That was lame. Well, now I gotta find another way up. Maybe this way. That's... Oh, it's a die, dude. Alright, where was that? This way? Okay, it's right there. Can I get any higher? Oh, there's a grapple point over there. Interesting. Ah, oh, well, I didn't need it. She actually used the shield that time. Ooh, nice find. I like it. Oh, and there's something down there. What is that? At least the water's clean. It still looks a little not right, but it's definitely not red anymore. Alright, Talana, I am coming now. A slight distraction, nothing big. My old friend Talana. Thornmarsh. Quite a sight, isn't it? Never thought I'd find myself this deep in Tanakh territory. Have you run into any trouble? I've been keeping my head down. Had to duck into the swamps a couple of times to avoid Tanakh patrols. Well. I'm here now, so spill it. Who is Amatis, really? 
Like I said before, he helped me put a stop to a hunter-killer machine out in the wilds. At first, he thought I was just another hunter from the lodge who only cared about the biggest machine trophy. And I thought he was just a grouchy hermit living in the woods. But then, he trusted me with the truth. Told me how the Red Raids took everything from him. Seeing that side of him, I don't know, changed things. You love him, don't you? I think I might, yeah. Then why did you part ways? When he told me how he failed to save the woman from his past, I told him how I made peace with my father and brother's deaths. He realized he needed to do the same on his own. Wait. When we searched that Red Raid's battlefield together, you said he'd lost someone close to him there. I thought you meant a fellow soldier. Well, she was. Women aren't allowed to serve in the Karja army, but Nessa disguised herself so she could. Amadis kept her secret. When he left to come out west, he promised he'd send word that he was all right, but his letter never came. So you set out to find him. And when we do, I'll have words for him for leading us on this wild goose chase. Well, at least I kind of understand now. Amadis thought Nessa died on the battlefield. But when he learned that the Tanakh took prisoners back west, he kept going. So I guess now we find this prison, the Rot. I did some scouting while I was waiting. I think I might have found the way. Lead on then. Uh. Do you think Nessa might still be alive? I doubt it. Any Karja prisoners from the Red Raids would have been killed or returned home by now. Then what's Amadis after? I think he just needs to know. Quite the name for this prison, the Rot. His mines? Tripwires. Here, you flaming hunks of trash. That's him. That fire claws right on his heels. Wow, we got damage Come on. Holy crap. We've got your back. Oh wait, that's right. They. Oh, I totally forgot. They've got those on the back. Oh, I should have been taking advantage of that. All right. Well, let me go back to my warrior bow. This one. Here. Not now. Dude, he is doing so much damage. This dude's a freaking badass over here. Sorry, Talana, but I'm gonna need to take this dude with me. He uh, will prove quite useful. Almost freeze, frozen, freezing. <laughs> it's almost freezing, everybody. So close to freezing. Oh, he froze him. Nice, dude. This guy. Seriously. It's a stud. This is about to be bad. No, thank you. Oh crap! Oh, I thought he was swiping. Got me good there. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, what was that? Was that from that Amadis guy you guys? This is my new companion. We're best buds now. Guess I could have been using the traps, but whatever. No need. 
Yeah. You're as fierce a fighter as ever. And you're still adept with your traps. Alright, well, I'm sorry, buddy, but I am dismantling your traps for shards. Not many shards, but shards nonetheless. Wow, I could have walked him through that. Why isn't this letting me disarm? There we go. Every shard counts. This guy makes me rethink the whole trapper um, trapper build. Clearly works. Or worked for him, I should say. Probably wouldn't work for me. But definitely worked for him. Man, look at all these traps he had. I should have been using these. Freaking everywhere. It's like Boomer. He's probably so upset, like, what are you doing with all my traps? I've been trying to defend this area. This is just me telling him he needs to let go. He needs to move on. Just chill with Talana. The other lady's dead. Knowing me, I'd hit all the traps before the fire claw. I mean, maybe. Certainly possible. Dude, look at the waves. That's so nice. I guess San Francisco is just underwater. Is that maybe that's San Francisco part of it? Well, I never liked San Francisco anyway. I really don't. I know a bunch of people. Who love SF. Every time I go there, I'm like, oh, God, why am I here? I hate this place. I avoid it as much as possible. I live in San Francisco, so it's fun to see all my running routes underwater. <laughs> I, uh, I honestly don't. Like, I know so many people who love SF, but I hate it. Every time I go there. I used to live in Oakland. And I preferred Oakland by a lot. Not downtown Oakland, because downtown Oakland sucks, but everywhere else. Talana, I... You were supposed to let me know you were okay. I was going to send the message right after I crossed into the desert with an Osaram caravan. But when it became clear that the tunnel had collapsed behind us, I figured the only thing I could do was press on. Seeing as you found a way out here, however, clearly I was wrong. I'm sorry. The last thing I wanted was to worry you. So, you must be Amadis. And you must be Aloy. Talan has told me a lot about you. And I guess you must know about me. Uh, a little. We know you're headed for the rot, but what are you hoping to find there? A clue. Or a shred of one. Anything about Ness's fate. Maybe she died on the battlefield. Or maybe she wasted away in that prison. Either way, I have to know. Nessa? Talana told me about you and Nessa during the Red Raids. But you kept her secret. We were both assigned to the Southern Spear Division. Our orders were to push into Tanakh territory through the tunnel. She was proud to serve the Sundan at first. But as the atrocities mounted, we both saw the raids for what they were. And the two of you grew close? We did what we could to protect innocent lives. It felt like we were the only ones who objected to the slaughter. And yes, we were close. Until the Battle of the Burning Blooms. The battle. What happened at the Battle of the Burning Blooms? 
I had intel that the Tanakh forces were greater than we had anticipated. I tried to convince my commander to halt the attack. He was a drunken lout. And when I threatened to reveal his incompetence to Karja High Command, he pulled a knife on me. So I killed him. In self-defense. It was still murder. I was condemned. But I thought at least I could still save Nessa. I was too late. By the time I got to the battle, the fields were already burning. Her soldiers slaughtered or missing. What's more, the commander I had killed was from a powerful noble house. They put a bounty on my head. I've been on the run ever since. But the red raids are long over. Sun King Avad would pardon you if he knew. The Sun King can't help me. A pardon from Avad won't stop bounty hunters eager to claim their prize. You and Talana. So, you and Talana, um, sounds like the two of you had an adventure out in the wilds. Claw striders, a hunter killer, mercenaries, a shell snapper. Nothing could get in her way. A scruffy hermit in the woods certainly tried. That was foolish of him, in hindsight. Let's keep moving. Well, we're here now, so let's head to the rot. I can't ask you to come with me. I feel bad enough you've come this far. I didn't come all this way just to leave you now. We'll see this through together. I know better than to try to talk you out of it. Come then. The rot's not far. The rot's along the shore, but we'll have to stick to the woods to avoid being seen. How did you find it? I overheard a Tanakh patrol from the nearby village talking about it. Figured it out from there. What were you gonna do if we hadn't found you? Take it on alone? I only need to question one guard. Figured I'd grab someone when they're by themselves. Well? We'll wait here. No. Oh. I hate that. I freaking interrupt the conversation because you walked at normal You're speed. Back. Shall we move on? Hmm? I never was saying something before you left. What was it? Well, now you have us. We're getting close. Just a little further. Well, never mind. It just thought I left for some reason. There it is. The rot. Those are Agal's rebels. They're waging civil war against the rest of the Tanakh. They must have taken over the prison. Then they would have killed any of the guards. They were my last hope of finding out if Nessa was there. Maybe not. There might still be some clue inside. Even after all this time? Aloy can see much more than you or I. And let's do it. Any scrap of hope is better than nothing. We'll have to find another way in. The front gate looks impenetrable. And there's no way we're scaling those walls. You two stay here. I'll see if I can find another way in and get that gate open. I should check around the sides. Might be a way in from the water. Alright, so I passed up a relic ruin over there. What is that one? It's not even showing. Oh, character bios. We have got... Amadis. An adept hunter and trapper, Amadis was once a naive young Karja noble who joined the Mad Sun King's army during the Red Raids. Posted in the Forbidden West, he quickly became disillusioned with the cruelty and bloodshed the Karja inflicted on local tribes, and he was not alone. Nessa, a woman who assumed a man's guise in order to join the Karja military, secretly helped him protect the innocent from their fellow soldiers, gaining Amadis' gratitude and love. Unfortunately, tragedy struck when Amadis tried to prevent Nessa's division from being slaughtered by the Tanakh at the Battle of the Burning Blooms. He failed. Even worse, he was forced to kill his commander in self-defense, making him a fugitive. Some years later, he met Talana, the Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. Together, they saved the Karja village from dangerous machines. Inspired by the story of how Talana put her family's memory to rest, he decided to travel back to the Forbidden West to get final closure on Nessa's fate. And in our quest, we had that relic ruin, the long coast. We might do that after we're done here. Thank you for doing this, Aloy. I hope I'll find the answers inside. All right, what are we doing? Oh, it looks like we just squeezed through there. All right, now I guess not. Right, 
Maybe up there? No. I only got a gun over there. If I can get it. I don't think this is the way. Let's look for an alternative. Must be over here. It's looking pretty fortified to me. Right, maybe over here. It's looking a little weaker. Yep. Okay. Rebel soldier. I'm not going to be able to one-shot any of them, so stealth is pointless. Maybe if I was to stealth him and then quickly shoot him in the face. Oh, wait. I definitely want their help. Next time it might not be a false alarm. Oh, hello. Right, I'll come back for this. I better get those shards back. Let's see, what if I was to just shoot him full power? Oh, that's enough. Nice. We do have a stealth option. Come on in. All right, they didn't like that. Let's go. Let's go. Getting that Deathbringer gun. Oh, hi. Oh, wait. Oh, that's you. Never mind. Alright, good. I got the big guns. You keep me protected. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. Fire. So limited on ammo, though. Eh, it's basically out. All right, who else we got? Let's go. Wow, this fortress is kind of lacking on enemies, isn't it? Oh man, should that dude flying? Oh my god, you're cheap freaking tactic. What? You gotta shield back instantly. Oh, I put the. Never mind. I put the resonator on him. I didn't even notice. I shoot him in the foot. Oh, we blocked it. On. Foot shot. Got him. Dead. Dude, what is that? That's the second time I've seen that. What is that? I think Amadis is doing or maybe Talana. Oh, it's a tear blast. But why is it doing so much damage? I want my tear blast to do damage like that. What the heck? All right, are they over here? What are we missing? I guess I could scan. They really left this place unguarded. All right, who? Well, whatever. We'll loot up while the action subsided. Hey, what's up, Tobias? 
Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Do a little bit of light reading. Complaint desk. Text log, data corruption severe, March 28th, 2049, room 106, data corrupted. Entire patches of dog hair just floating in the pool. Fifth time this week. Mrs. Ketras almost choked on the stuff. The blind bat. I'm telling you, it's those bastards in room 106. I've heard the barking, and if they say it's human hair one more time, I swear, data corrupted. May 21st, 2049, noise complaint, data corrupted. These are thin walls, my man. Look, I'm all about releasing stress and all, but maybe don't set the volume to ear bleeding levels, especially since your tastes are so specific, you know? July 7, 2049, warehouse smell, data corrupted. Every morning, delivery trucks pull up to that warehouse and the smell just gushes out. Every damn room ends up smelling like a trash can at a vegan's birthday party. Bodies could be dumped here and no one would notice. Now, data corrupted. Alrighty, well, whatever this dude is, uh, he's doing a good job of hiding. Oh, we got this. Maybe he's outside. Oh, there he is. There. Uh, is he helmeted? I can't tell. Oh, I just missed. That was terrible. Hi. Don't you dare melee me. I know what happens. Uh, you guys gonna help? Cause I'm kind of on my own here. You make a nice target. Oh my god, this helmet! All right, he's going for the freeze. I'm helping. Somehow that didn't do anything. Dude, look how much better his freeze is than mine. His froze them halfway. Mine, five percent. Maybe. Maybe 5%. Maybe 5%. Come on. Come on. Boom. That did not. Well, good. I'm glad that he can melee. I sh Or she can. I sure can. If I even try that, I'm dead. Apparently a lot more that way. This next hits mine. <laughs> These are the worst guards in history. This is where they're hiding. Yes, we're hiding, apparently. Wait, where's this gun? Yeah, Inferno Bomb Launcher. I'll take this thing. Let's go, people. Do you want to report that we lost her? I know my orders. Oh my god, oh, I'm so slow though. Steady now. Where are they? Hello? Hello? I have presents for you if you would just simply show up. Is that one of them? Yeah. Here, catch this. Oh, this needs way more. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> this guy has no idea what to do. Oh, nice dodge. He's done, though. Who else? Why are you guys so bad at finding us? We're not even hiding. We're just out here. What are you doing? Uh, Alright, screw it. I don't even know where the heck they are. Oh, found him. We can't, we're the ones hiding? You're the one who was hiding. Okay. 
All right. Oh. End of the line, Outlanders. That device is gonna call a machine. Tide Ripper. Tide Ripper. Is it a normal or an apex? I think it's a normal. Boom. Oh yeah, definitely a normal. Dude, look at that. Dude, I need that. Whatever he's got. That is ridiculous. I guess it just doesn't adjust for difficulty. <laughs> because I definitely, under no circumstance, could ever do that much freaking elemental damage. That's just nuts. Well, I should be very good at fighting these things after all the horrible fighting I had to do against it in the arena. Should be an expert. Oh, what hit me? I can't even see. What is going on? Oh, he's got the stupid... Yeah. I still don't know what to do about this crap. Oh, I need to... Halo, yeah. could, could you use the thing? Thanks. My god, this water is so stupid. Wait, he put purge water on me while I had the cleanse down? How is that even possible? Dude, that freaking freeze. Just single-handedly. Oh my god, it's so ridiculous. Alright, whatever. I'm just keeping my distance and using these arrows. Maybe I could get one of those purge water sacks to blow up. Got it. And it still doesn't turn off. Oh my god, because he technically already did it. Oh, it's so broken. Good night. Oh, not quite. Almost. Ah, oh, he's got me trapped. Boom. Oh, no ammo. All right. I think that's the end of it. Hey, is anyone out there? You hear that? Definitely wasn't expecting to fight a tight ripper there, but hey, roll with the punches. Oh, I got some crap over here. <laughs> uh, why did that dude lose all his armor after he was shot? <laughs> Maybe he got torn off in the fight. Either way, that's funny. Alright, you guys chill. Oh, is he gonna find Nessa? I actually thought that that would happen. That she's somehow still alive and then there's gonna be some weird drama like, Oh, does he pick Nessa or does he pick Talana? And then he probably picks Nessa and then Talana's sad. I kinda thought that would happen. We'll see if it's true. That sounds like there's some prisoners in there. Oh, 
Oh man, we had this over here. Death thing again. That would have been nice. Apparently, your allies do so much damage, and you do baby doo doo. Well, they don't do damage. Like, their damage sucks. Well, actually, his damage has been really good. But in general, ally damage sucks, but that dude's ability to to generate elemental status is unparalleled. That was crazy. One frost bomb is all it took. That's what playing on the lower difficulties is like. You just do any attempt at elemental damage. It's like, alright, they're in that elemental state now. Wait, did he get his armor back? Or is that a different dude? Oh, whatever. Alright, we get everything. I think that we did. Yes, we did. Oh, Ness is totally in there. Here. Door's locked, but that last rebel had a key on it. Um, no, to knock. Freed by Karja. Have we not been humiliated enough? It's not their fault you were locked up in your own prison. I'm looking for information about a Karja soldier. She might have been a prisoner here five years back. Her name was Nessa. The Karja Nessa was here. I killed her myself. Nessa? I'll handle this. Go secure the grounds. It's you, isn't it? Nessa, how? It's Why? It's Rataka. Uh, let me get this straight. You were Nessa. You were brought here as a prisoner during the Red Raids and then became Tanakh? The Karja forbid women from military service. I lived my life pretending, ashamed of who I really was. But the Tanakh measure a soldier only by their strength and resolve. So I took my place among them. Ness, Rataka, I've mourned you for five years. Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I had a new life. I wasn't going back. Not even for you, Amadis. You and Amadis. The way Amadis talked about your time together, I thought you'd still care about him. It was five years ago. I didn't abandon you. Before the battle, I tried to get Gadiah to call off the attack, but of course, he didn't listen. I ended up killing him. Then he got what he deserved. I ran for the battlefield to find you. But you were already gone by the time I got there. I didn't know. But even if I did, I mourned you, and then I moved on. <laughs> this lady's cold. Becoming Tanakh. If you were brought here as a prisoner, how did you become Tanakh? I knew it was only a matter of time before the Tanakh killed me and the others who were held captive. But one day, one of their soldiers stopped in front of my cell, asked how a woman had ended up fighting for the Mad Sun King. As he spoke, I realized he was once Karja. Fashav. I heard how he fell at the embassy. He deserved a better death than that. The other prisoners he condemned to death, but he convinced the Tanakh to let me fight for my life. I won through blood and blade. I became Rataka and never looked back. No regrets? You were willing to wear a disguise so that you could serve in the Karja army. Do you miss being Karja at all? No. The Red Raids showed me there was no honor in fighting for the Karja. And when my comrades and I were brought here as prisoners, we knew no one would ever come for us. I would have, had I known. It's better this way. Beneath my Karja armor, I found I had the blood of a Tanakh. Prisoner again? So if you became Tanakh, how did you end up as a prisoner here again? My squad was ordered to retake the rot from Regala's rebels. We failed. Considering how much Regala seems to hate the Karja, I'm surprised her rebels let you live. You're right. I'd be dead if they knew. But few Tanakhs remember who I once was. 
What now? What will you do now? You've taken back the rot. My squad will ensure it stays that way. So this is it? After everything we've been through, this is goodbye? It has to be. My place will always be here, and yours is back east. I'm sorry that you've suffered. You deserve better than how the last five years have treated you. I'll make sure you're granted safe passage out of the lowland. Consider it Nessa's final farewell. At least now you know the truth. Somehow it hurts worse. You must think I'm an idiot. No, I just think you have a lot to figure out. I'll take you back east to the Sendim. After that, I don't know. Talana, I understand. I'm sorry it came to this. Me too. Give me an Aloy a moment. Are you all right? To be honest, no. What's going to happen between you two? I'm not sure. He clearly has a lot more feelings to sort through. And I won't be anyone's second choice. I want you to have this. For seeing this through with me. No hawk could ask for a better thrush. Or a better friend. So, I guess this is it then. You're heading back east. I think I'll hang around Baron Light for a while before returning to Meridian. If you find yourself back that way, look for me there. I will. Safe travels, Talana. Ooh, lightning hunter bow? Maybe I Talana. should take it the next time I'm at Baron Light. Seems like she could use a shoulder to lean on. Talana, I love you. That is precisely what I have been needing. Look at this, and what? Are, what's the other one? Wait, what are those, like, special... Oh, those are, like, even better lightning arrows. Like, advanced lightning arrows? Oh, dude. Yes. Plus 10% agility damage. I think that's if you're sliding and stuff. I don't care about that. It's got overdraw damage once you leveled up. Stealth damage, meh. Oh, it looks like it has advanced fire arrows, too. Oh, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, good, good. Uh, actually, you know, I'll just go ahead. Oh, what's to say? A formidable bow used by Regala's rebels. It specializes in delivering shock payloads at mid range and inflicts extra damage when fired while sliding or in mid air. I don't need that warrior bow over there anymore. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, well. That was not the happy ending we were uh, looking for. Or at least uh, maybe Talana was looking for. Let's go do the Relic Ruins. That seems like a good thing to do. The Long Coast. Treasures await those who dare explore the ruins of the old world. <laughs> Tide what? Uh, Tide Ripper just chilling. All dead like. Wow. You really showed that Grandmaster. That spear is a weapon of real strength. Ugh. All right, what do we got? Nothing. Did we get this campfire? We did. Wait, what is that? The vent panel? Oh, that must be the rock runes. An old world ruin. I wonder what's inside. Okay, time to take a look around. Indeed, what do we got? We can go upstairs. We need a battery there. There's some kind of device here. Looks like it needs power. Alright, so. We've got an elevator. We got some crap over there. Oh, fire gleam. Where? 
don't see any fire going. Maybe above me? I'm gonna say it's above me. that down oh wait is this thing gonna explode oh crap this thing's losing its charge fast hurry Aloy and slot it in there power's restored okay, I think what was that? this is an elevator can I not all right I guess the fire gun's above me Totally gonna break. Oh, or not? Man, I'm curious what's up here. That uh, doesn't help. Huh? How do I get up there? All right, I'm confused. We'll come back. Wait, it just gets me back here. What? But I don't understand. In fact, there was even a thing over here. Oh, I see. We go on the side. Inside the tower. Looks like another ornament. Wait, is that it? That's how to get in there. Okay. okay. Where to now? Alright, well, I assume I would drop down one level. That seems like the smart thing to do. Right? Well, I don't know. Let's find out. Down here. Oh, uh, nope, that's the way out. Dang it! Alright, well, over here again. Up. Maybe I could go that way? Yeah, let's go this way. Okay. Ah, I can go over there. Okay. Let's try that. I mean, I still think it obviously has something to do with the elevator, but I can't seem to get to the right level for that. So let's go over here. Nice. Deposit of green shine. that oh isn't that vent wait no the vent panels over there what's that power terminal oh wait oh I see something over there metal clamp there we go that's what I didn't see before the top of the tower should give me a good vantage point of the entire ruin Unless I go this way? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff over there. Huh. Maybe I do go over there. Alright, screw it. We'll go over there. I don't see how this is related, but... Time to explore. A crate. Could be useful. Later. Fire gleam. Hup. 
Hey, what's up, Rich the Swag Lord? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Oh man, this relic ruin is confusing. Okay, so I could grapple to there. To what end? Not much of an end. And then we got that crate. Presumably does something. Wait, hold on. Have we been down here? Oh, I see. There was just an entrance here. I didn't even notice that before. Fire gleam. Over here. There's some kind of switch. Oh, you got going. your first platinum? Awesome. Congrats for uh, Final Fantasy VII. I can pull the switch from here. The remake? Oh, do I gotta like go through there? Huh? Or do I have to go from? Oh, hold on. I think I have to go like over here. Let's try from here. No. But I'm confused. It needs to go that way. Or I guess it does go. Hmm. Well, let me just try out my hand. Oh. Well, now I feel stupid. What did that even do? Oh. I see it now. Over here. What? Looks like the switch controls those old lights. And the rails up there. Yeah, but to what end? Alright, so that moves that over there, and then this one. I bet. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I need to use it. Over here. Okay, that should be easy enough. Oh, crap. I got stuck. Here we go, here we go. Oh no! It's still too slow. What the? Okay. Uh, maybe one comes up over here? Well, let me take a look. If I could get up there, that would also work. Does any, like, make its way over here? Oh, yeah, 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 no? No. I don't understand. Alright, well, hold on. I could just jump from here. Okay. Can't fall through. But maybe I could pull it from here? No. Hmm. Right. Those lights on the rails move fast. I don't see how being up here would help me in any way. Right, maybe there's an alternative. Can I get in there I could get over here with a crate is there a crate there's the crate up top I don't think I can get that over here is there another crate have I played the original Final Fantasy 7 I have indeed that came out when I was Jeez, how old was I? Not very old. Uh, I think I was like 10? Somewhere around there. Alright, oh, we have the crate over there. That's right. Alright, so how do we get this down? This is what we need. Hmm. 
Alright, I need that crate. That would solve most of my problems. But I see no way to grab it. It kind of seems like I need the light to get up there, but then I need the crate for the light, potentially. Unless... No. No unless. I just don't think I can get there fast enough. <laughs> yeah, it just freaking shot me over there. All right, there's got to be. If I had the, f so if I could blow up the fire gleam, I could um, I could pull the lever through the wall and then I could get up there. Able to reach one of the platforms above. Yeah, it doesn't help me, Aloy. Well, she's give me hints, so I'll take her hints. Unless there was a way to get through there, this doesn't help me in any way. I can't get over there because that's in the way. What is the hardest boss you've ever played in your opinion? Yazora with all pro codes on critical difficulty Kingdom Hearts 3. That's the hardest boss I've ever fought. Hands down. <laughs> Nothing else even. Oh, wait. Oh, I can just go over here. Oh. Pfft. All right, well, maybe this will reveal. Yeah, this is revealing something. All right, this is probably how I get in there. There we go, this is what I needed. Okay, problem solved. Ow. Okay, so now we can pull the lever. That gives me this, wait, where'd it go? Nope, still two. Oh, I had it. There's a crate up here. Attempt number two. What the? It's probably because I held on to it. I don't think I can pull that. All right, so pull it and release immediately. Yeah, okay. Jump, Aloy. There we go. Alright, made it. Alright, so what am I gonna do with you? You're not ne Oh, crap! You're not needed for the thing I thought you were needed for. So what do I need you for? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, well, I still haven't gotten to the other side, so I think that's a good starting place. Oh, no, I did go over there. Yeah, what do I need you for? Do I need to go higher for any reason? Um, hmm. We have that over there. We got another crate. Ultimately, we're trying to go over there, so I don't know how any of this is connected. I mean, maybe if I get to the very top, but that seems silly. Oh, I could bring it to the elevator. That would work. That would work, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, but I bet this one won't be able to be moved because it's go. gonna get stuck in water. Maybe. Oh, but I could probably pull it out. Yeah, no problem. Ugh, it's 
just being stubborn. All right, fine. We'll drag. So I feel like that other trait was completely unnecessary. Or maybe I have to stack. Anyways, call the elevator. I must say, it's one of the more involved. Relic ruins. The relic I saw in the tower should be up above. Gotta find a way up there. Okay, does this help me at all? No, let's uh, push it up. Like up. Alright, up we go. Well, that gives me something to work with. What we needed. Maybe. Ledge is up on the wall, but I don't think I can reach them from here. Oh, do I need another crate? How would I? Oh, no, 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 I'm confused. All right, so I clearly need that other crate. Oh, I could drag it from here? No, that wouldn't work. I don't think. I don't think it'd be able to get over this stuff. But I could stack it. I could send the elevator down and then drag it on top, but I don't think it can get across that stuff. Oh, hold on. I can just take this. Yeah, I just pull it off. Yeah, never mind. Easy. Send this down. I gotta find a way to get to the relic in the tower. It's gonna help, but oh wait, how did I get up there again? I guess I have to take the I'll just call it back down. I have to use the elevator to get up there. This is one of the more uh, interesting relic ruins for sure. All the other ones are pretty simple. But this one made me think. Alright, how do I get it down though? I guess I just drop it. I'll just drop it over this, this side. I was thinking. Wait. I was thinking I'd have to drop the other way. Wait. Stubborn. I was thinking I'd have to drop it the other way, but I don't have to. I can just go this way. There we go. Oh, wait, I can grapple up. Well, that's good. Alright, almost there. Oh, wait. I didn't actually need both. Why would, why would I bring both? I'm dumb. I just needed the one. So why did he give me two? That's weird. I, I don't know why I had in my head I needed two. Oh, maybe I do. Uh, no, I shouldn't need two. I should just need the one. Down it goes. Unless I do need two. I don't think I need two. I'm just going to use the one. Oh, no, 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 no. I do need... Wait, can I? No, I can grapple without it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna use the one. Oh wait, no. That's right, I needed to... Yeah, no, no, I'm dumb. I do need to. I was thinking I could get up there without this second one, but I can't. It's been a long stream, okay? 
<laughs> the brain's not firing on all cylinders. Okay, I do need you, Mr. Crate. I need both the crates. Oh, you don't like the relic puzzles? I love the relic puzzles. I think the melee pit and the arena are trash, but I like the puzzles. Okay, we have both things that we need. Now I can jump up here. Perfect. Made it. And here we are. Another ornament. I should give this to Stemmer the next time I see him. All right, we have seven of nine ornaments. Very nice. If we go to our notebook and our collectibles. The bill. Text log, data corruption is minimal. My treat, what a load of bull. But I guess we all bought into Kyle's big talk. After all, it was hard to ignore when he literally wouldn't stop talking about how he was going to get some big bonus for his demonstration on Monday. Until the bill arrived, the $21,000 bill. And that's when we all realized for the first time all night, there was no Kyle. No Kyle laughing at his own stupid jokes. No Kyle anywhere in the whole damn club. But you know that old saying, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? Well, think again, Kyle. Golden Toucan's out, Natasha. All right. So. Oh, there was one I didn't get. We should go get that. We should go get that. How did I get up before? Did I go up the top? I guess I did. Oh right, no, this thing closes me in, doesn't it? All right, no, it doesn't. That's right. Go out this way. So there's one. Um, oh wait, no, I guess it does. Ah, this way. That's right. Ah, uh, there's one chest we forgot. It's kind of in a weird spot. I should be able to glide to it though. That chest would be right over there. Man, that is in a weird spot. Can I get to that? Oh, I don't know. Wait, this acts like I can jump over here. Is that true? Oh, wow. Okay, well, there we go. Oh, it's scrappable. Not that it matters because I got here. All right, I think this ruin's cleared out. It is. Alrighty, this is campfire in your butt. I would like to go to Baron Light and say hello to Tavana. See how she's holding up. Baron Lights all the way over here. Although I don't think Baron Light is where we first ran into Talana. I think we ran into her in the middle of nowhere. But apparently she came back here. Supposedly. Let's play some machine. Talana. Where is you? Can I help you today? Where is she hiding? For the thunder. This channel was terrible and I regret having joined it. Cool story, Michael. We're all so glad you showed up to say how terrible it is. She's above the gate. Yeah, 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 I see her up here now. Who's this other person? Would one of you mods like to kick this clown out of here? 
Otherwise, I can do it. Either way is fine. I'm guessing Amada's been on his way? We parted once we were inside the gates. I promised I'd see him back to the Sundom, and I did. I'm sorry you went through all of that just to break things off in the end. I'm not. Really. I don't want to be with him while he's still holding on to Nessa. Maybe he'll never let go. Or maybe when he's figured himself out. Ugh, who knows? All I can say right now is that there's no one quite like him. That sounds complicated. Taking down a thunder jaw is easier. One day you'll know what I mean. I don't know about that. That's what I used to say. As for me, I have the Hunter's Lodge to get back to. Thrushes to train, bigoted nobles to boot out. But hey, look, the one good thing out of all of this mess was that I got to spend time with you again. I'll miss you, Talana. Well, whenever you take down a big machine out there, just remember that I'm back east taking down something bigger. <laughs> okay, you're on. Come here. Until we meet again. Well, that was a nice ending. I was actually expecting more, but I'm glad that Aloy has a friend out in the world. Still waiting. For what? You know. For a decent meal, a warm bath, a gentle hug. An apology. For doing my job? For keeping me locked up when I was innocent. Oh, that. I'm sorry. Yeah? But I'm not going to apologize. Oh, I knew you were going to do that. I totally forgot about this dude. This is the guy that was locked up. And I don't even remember why he was locked up. But he was locked up when he didn't do something and we proved he was innocent. Gentlemen, I'm glad to see you out of that cell. Did you get them? I got them. The Eclipse are done. For good. You hear that? She did our job for us, again. And survived to tell the tale, which we wouldn't have. Thanks for believing me, Savior. You were telling the truth. See? At least someone around here listens to me. <laughs> all right, well, I was also not all that involved. Uh, all righty, well. Looks like a good stopping point for tonight. Let me just go over to the campfire and get us a save. Oh, and I'll use some of these skill points or... Or, uh, who was it? Might have been Jessica. Somebody was twitching. <laughs> There's too many skill points. Somebody was twitching. You have to spend them. This game just gives you skill points at an alarming rate. Oh, Katama. I've heard a strange report about a missing soldier from Tide's Reach, a lowland village on the western coast. With the marshal spread then, there's no one to investigate. Would you consider it? I'll try to stop by when I'm out that way. Oh. Did I already do it? Missing prisoner? Oh, I didn't get a quest for it. I didn't see it. I was reading chat, I didn't see if it said prisoner or soldier or whatever, but somebody missing. Maybe it was what's her face, or maybe it's this? Oh no, that's Pharaoh's tomb. Okay, well, I, I don't know, but regardless, let me save. Oh, not fast travel. Oh, right. I totally... See, I got distracted. I didn't use my skill points. Uh, all right, what are we going to spend them on? I don't even know. <laughs> trapper. That one dude's an expert trapper. Elemental Fury. Oh, this is elemental build-up stuff. Yeah, we should get this, just in case I need to build element up on something. Triggering an elemental state with a direct hit causes an elemental blast? With a direct hit? That just means shooting it normally? Alright, whatever. Elemental Fury seems like a good 
Valor Surge to have maxed out. Trap Specialist. Mm, I guess we could get it. I don't really care, though. But we got it. There we go. Uh, oh, Trap Limit. Oh, I didn't even see this. Okay, yeah, yeah. I want Trap Limit. Put more traps on the field. That seems like a good one. All right, we're down to 12. What else are we getting? A melee might. Oh, uh, I guess it's good. I kind of like the other one better now, but whatever. We'll upgrade melee might. I've got pretty much all the passives and abilities I want at this point. I'm sure I'm overlooking some good skills, but in general, I've kind of got everything I want on, on that end. I mean, at this point, I kind of almost have everything. Double notch, load a second arrow of your currently selected type. Fire normally to release both arrows simultaneously. I guess. That's with the sharp shot bow. I'm trying to think if there's a use for this. I mean, I could stealth kill really strong enemies with this. Eh, yeah, screw it, we'll pick it up. It doesn't really matter anymore. Focus shot. Increase your weapon zoom while aiming and fire a powerful shot that deals extra damage. Uses your currently selected ammo. That's like a sniper thing. I don't care. Chain burst. Oh, this da chains damage to a bunch of other enemies. I never really used that. Well, let's go ahead and upgrade part breaker, I guess. Sure. Actually, hold on. Before I upgrade Part Breaker, have I upgraded Ranged Master? I haven't. Maybe I should upgrade this first. Although, just straight damage isn't actually that useful. Part Breaker might actually be better. But, you know what? Whatever. Let's just do this. I'll have more skills soon. There we go. I'm going to resave. Just overwrite the one I just did. <laughs> this game smothers you with skill points. It sure does. Okay, let's look let, look at our map. So it's looking pretty good. Let's see if we find any like quests that have popped up. I, I'm I'm a little disappointed in Talana's quest though I, I must say I thought she would at least join us on like it seems odd that Aloy didn't like invite her to the secret club <laughs> do I have any phobias spiders um and uh and uh deep water ocean stuff Th I'm a thalassophobe uh but yeah look at our map lots of progress lots of and lots of progress. This area is so confusing because it's like underwater. So is there a tall neck underwater? Or do we drain it somehow? I don't know. We'll have to find out eventually. But it's what's crazy to me is that it feels like it feels like fairly early in the game we we like got halfway through the map and then since then like every time I start to make some progress out in the far west. Like, I get dragged back into, like, the eastern side of things. And I, like, rarely seem to make any more progress over here. So, it feels like our map has barely moved in a long time. Minus Vegas, because we hadn't gone down here before. But, yeah, still so much to do. So much to do. But, that is where we will end tonight. Uh, let's see, streams for the upcoming week, you can do the uh, schedule command uh, to show you, but I'll just go through it really quick. Uh, tomorrow is Ghost of Tsushima, Tuesday is GTA Online, Wednesday is Vampire the Masquerade, Thursday is The Quarry with Blueberry and I, Friday is Death Stranding, Saturday is The Quarry, and Sunday we'll be back here on Horizon Forbidden West. Thank you all for coming, I hope you had fun, and I will see you all next